Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. The short little break is over. We're back to chapter two. Welcome back, Quirky. It was fast. Yes. The missus is uh, not wanting a late night with the little ones, so she's got them all off to bed already. We're going to continue our nerd campaign. Ramble uh, is already level 11. 87 days in, huh? 87 days. We have... Uh, we've joined the... Asurai? Yes, we're fighting on the Asurai side as uh, a mercenary. Uh, and as per your suggestions or your decisions in the chat, we went with a uh, mounted focus. We uh, we do have seven infantry, and uh, Loan is also a uh, in archer mode. Does she have a bow that we we could put her on horseback? I suppose. Mm, no, she'll be fine there. Um, we, we have a few prisoners. We've been running around. The Asurai got themselves have gotten themselves attacked by mm, half the world. Uh, the Khajate, the Vlandians, who are the two that we actually have their primary troops of, and the Southern Empire. Have all attacked, have all declared war on uh, the Asurai. Actually, I don't know if the Asurai did the declaring previously or not for the first war, but we are uh, looking around for um, opportune hits on specific troop types so we're not uh we're not looking for we're not looking to you know uh, fight every battle that comes well, our way uh, or every potential uh threat to the empire we're not here for the asteroid we're here for ourselves uh extortion by deserters is a great quest as long as we don't get there's the deserter match right there there we go this will be a fun one uh good warm-up for the evening so we are welcome welcome back everybody we are going to continue uh with the attempt at repeat oh hi why what's going on why are you not in here i thought you were all right uh fourth and third can do their own thing we'll just leave the others to actually you know what everybody can do their own thing now, that was entirely a fail. Wow, that's a lot of riders. Square down, really? Ugh. That's the villagers doing their thing, eh? I think so. Deepers, everybody's killing everything before I get a chance. That was it. <laughs> All right, so these ones are a great little quest for um, Jeepers. We lost the square, and the city lost the spearmen. Uh, these are great little quests for uh, when you're not in a war, but we are at the moment, so... Um, I think we might just keep... Uh, no, we'll upgrade them. We'll let the Galants go ahead as knights. We might as well, if we get in more of those big fights, the idea of waiting around doesn't seem like a smart plan to me. All right, this guy we'll talk to, and we'll tell him, you keep your 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 wins and your whatever, your reward that you had for us. You just hold on to that. Uh, not of much interest to us. Okay. Uh, let's head down this way. A little risky going down the coast, uh, the Vlandian coast here, but <clears throat> we got to keep, uh, got to keep the risk up in order to, uh, keep the rewards flowing. We do have, uh, four more people we need to speak to about, um, oh, hi. 
Sakui Sakuina. She has formed an army, okay? You are a great target, I'm sure. Uh, that's a bunch of them, but let's see. Uh, you caravan, caravan. So I wonder if, uh, hold on, if we can scatter these caravans, how that's going to work. Go up into Batania lands. Oh no! Asteroid made peace with Landians. I literally was about to smash this guy. Oh well. <clears throat> Okay, well then I guess we're not gonna make uh, just smash that guy. We have one free dude that we can get. Well, let's uh, now that we're at peace, let's head into Sargo. So that was the first uh, the first piece. Kingdom decision is not relevant. Okay, uh, we could look at the kingdom, the Asrai, and the Vlandian. So what happens when they peace out is uh, one side or the other negotiates usually a tribute one way or the other. In this case, paying, uh, the Vlandian is paying 80 tribute to the Asrite. That's 80 a day. That's effectively nothing. Like, very much effectively nothing. Uh, some of them are in the thousands frequently. So if we are looking at, well, this is our relation, so we wouldn't be able to see what, like, the Kuzate versus somebody else, but... The, this icon right here uh, doesn't have a pop-up, strangely. So this is showing that the Vlandians are actually quite weak compared in strength, compared to the Asarai. So uh, it's not surprising that they peaced out, especially when we smashed a few of their lords. Uh, let's see. Ransoming prisoners. Um, the Imperial... Uh, now nah, we're fine. We'll let them all go. We'll leave those all behind. The Galant Sword Sisters. They're they're pretty good. Oh, we had a surgeon. Eh, 120 medic is good, but we can't train him, and he has no other abilities. Like we can train him eventually, but we can't. Like currently, we're not going to gain any. Uh, he's not going to get any better at the moment, uh, for quite a while. All right, so they've now pieced out, and now their war is only on this side of things. So let's head down around here. See where we get what we what we find. Um, I was having a little issues when I was trying to load up the, the gate. The Asrai will start having the greatest lords of the realm meet as a small privy council. Well, lordly decisions indeed. Let's pop into Ortizia. Right now, as a clan tier 2, we have a fairly limited um, army size. We'll get well over 100 by the time we get our next upgrade. Uh, our next clan tier upgrade is going to be a pretty hefty chunk. Oh, look at that. Better gloves. I like it. I like better gloves. Uh, there. Oops. There we go. Sell that off. Now, we still have way too many horses, but not enough uh, uh, leveled up horses. What are they called? Hey, there is a Brotherhood party. They are pretty good, aren't they? Let's uh, look. I wonder if we can look up that Brotherhood. Group heroes, home uh, clans. Brother? Brotherhood of the Woods. Right, that's there. So they run a... Uh, um, Brotherhood of the Woods started as a Vlandian peasant movement. All right, cool. So they're probably not friendly with the Vlandians. That would be my guess. Okay, let's head around to Zionica. Uh, all right, that is a that's a dead end down there. So be careful. <laughs> it's a it's a very easy to get trapped in place. Uh, we'll top, stop in Jomaris. Warm up with the tournament, maybe. Do a bit of trade. We should, oh my goodness, we should definitely do a bit of trade. We have some food needed. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and look through towns uh, for, I think, well, beer we don't get from towns. So we'll grab the beer. The rest we can get from towns, I think. Uh, sorry, not towns, villages. Maybe we won't do a tournament. Maybe not. Uh, we should go and have a look, since we have the cash, we'll have a look at the uh, war mounts. So if these guys have 
uh, any war mount types, we should consider getting them. Like this is a war mount, 808 bucks is expensive. Keep an eye on what sort of war mounts are available because every one of our mounted units are gonna need one. I made the grave error of thinking that the other way around was accurate, which it's not. So that is a Runesies. Drop those off in exchange. I don't want to pack in a bunch of more horses. I want to switch. So Stuart is now 73. Again there. We got a skill to train, the riding skill. Okay, accuracy penalty well mounted. Or uh top speed well mounted. Well obviously I want to go top speed because we're being a lancer, not um not a horse archer. Um, 750 seems like a pretty pricey, I don't know, maybe not. Like, that's a noble mount, so those are epic, but a, let's, let's start keeping an eye on the price of war mounts. I don't know what the, what a common price for those would be, so let's start keeping an eye on that. And we'll have a look through, like, villages on our way through things, and, got, oh, these are all caravans. Enemy-ish caravans. Uh, grapes. 45 grapes. Great. That gets that resource covered. Let's head up this way. Oh, Poros is actually owned by the Southern Empire, which is now in a threat territory for us. Uh, we could go ahead and, uh, for instance, we could buy some hogs. We have five meat. We could buy some hogs. And then we can go in here, and we can take the hogs, and we can butcher them. And now we have 10 meat. And we also have 5 hides. So, uh, good money making actually there. If you find a good price for hogs, for instance, that's 22. That's not a good price for hogs. Um, and sheep, I don't know what you get out of sheep. Let's, 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 uh, for science this. What do we get from butchering a sheep? I don't know if you get wool. Probably not. Wouldn't make sense that you get them from butchering, but maybe you do. Um, oh. Did that just sell? What? What did I get from that? Just a hide? Wait a second, did I not get a meat from that? Done, hold on. Uh, hide. Or this, so we have 10 meat and 6 hide. You know, 7 hide and 12 meat, so 2 meat and a hide, okay. I mean, it's, it's alright, it's an easy way to get, uh, uh, to get meat to make sure you have some, so we can keep an eye on that. Uh, horses. Hunters are not... Uh, yeah, see, $1,100 for a war mount, obviously way too much. So $750 is kind of our, our benchmark now. If we can do $750 for... Uh, below $750, then, that's, then we're looking at a really great price. Hi! You uh, seem like you're wanting to mess around with me, and I'm not okay with that. Uh, we probably should be not just gallivanting here. Galloping, but not gallivanting. Not being uh, foolhardy. Oh, hi. You are heavily infantried. Yeah, you got friends, though. Can I go this way? Yes. I am going to... Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Um, let's see. He seems interested in uh, not running too fast for me. Okay, so this is uh, 11 Vigla recruits. Those are the elite units, but they're the infantry format. 13 Cav would be what? 11 Equite, a heavy horseman. That's 12 plus his, plus his lord. That's 13. Archers, crossbowmen, trained infantry of shield and imperial infantry of shield recruits. So it's not a freebie battle, but there's not a ton of ranged units if there. If you please. Uh, we do have the tactical advantage. Power level's in our favor. Okay. We'll get to some fighting people. Some good battles. So, Quirky, how was your uh, your quick little break? All right, to battle. Under my orders, warrior, move arrow onwards. 
and uh i always zoom in the wrong way okay so we've got a map situation where they're going to be across the water eh? footman hear me footman here Move. arrows archers here here forward hear me horse archers On onwards here. move and Come riders away. here move out Let's see what he does. Is he gonna come to me? Looks like the answer is a distinct no. He's actually moving away. Okay. Wouldn't mind taking some shots. Slightly too short. <laughs> well, you can take extra time and then just catch up. <laughs> Let's Cyclone. get the riders to come up in Move. here. Warrior, oh, step moving forward. Step moving. You guys can come up this way. 300 yards out. I guess we can bring. One man. Move out on, onwards. Uh, those there, those there. Move. Riders over here. Move. And the horse archers should be following me now. Yeah. Warrior on me. There we go. Now, his ranged units will be damaging enough. But 200 yards. Let's bring these guys up here. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the infantry and the archers across the water. Riders over like here. And then uh, we'll do a bit of pot shots with the horse archers. to come over here. Move! Riders, hear me! Onwards! Another pass with the horse archers, please. side here. Let me shift them. Joust. Down. The weakest of them, but got one down. All right. Footman. 
Uh, let's go with the infantry Dodge and the riders to options. start moving in. They're quite a ways back, so... I want you to take over and begin the battle. A plenty, a real battle now. Draw blood, boys. Lots of it. Nice. Not so nice for some, but... Excellent. Overwhelming, uh, overwhelming force here. If you're not uh, cheating, you're not trying hard enough, right? Good life lesson for most things. <laughs> for some things, I should say. There are definitely some things that doesn't work for, but you know, in battle it does. All right, we took a bit of damage there ourselves. We also lost five troopers, like two, three Kunkli and two Squires. They're painful to lose them. But uh, there's some good chunk of prisoners. We'll upgrade the knights to the, the more more higher skilled knights. We're just going to keep upgrading all our riders, I think, as we go. They can just level individually, I suppose. Oh, hello. Um, we've got a Falcom standard. Uh, decreased taken ranged attack damage. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the idea of our of our riders doing that so i'm actually going to carry that myself for now because i will be running with the oh i like it uh, i'll be running with the horse archers for the moment uh, our brother looks like he gets a new helm as well uh that balanced spatha would be notably better than his weapon isn't it yes that would be much better legionnaire padded Engineery padded whatevers these are. There you go. Look at you looking all fancy now. Ooh, that is also a nicer weapon. More gloves for her, because she's the one here right now. When the uh, when the armor is doled out, you want to be the person at the front of the list, you know? You want to be the next person that somebody scrolls to to give you the, the loots. First come, first serve. <laughs> it's actually usually, usually focused on family gifts, but... Uh, okay, Chark is definitely chasing me now. Uh, Nifon, what's your military situation here? He is... Mostly infantry as well. I don't think we can safely charge after you. Nope. You're gonna have friends. Uh, Benizalias. If you're chasing me, that's probably because you have friends coming behind. More than a little concerned about that. Um... And this, actually. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Do not want to get caught by that. Sure death. This is a castle um, village. We're just playing footloose and fancy for you. Oh, that's Asrai. That's Asrai land. Which means I'm in the wrong space. Yeah, I see what I'm doing. I went the wrong way. Okay, uh, that is uh, the lands owned by the Banu Saran, which is actually the... <clears throat> um, that's actually... What's his name? You know, his name. Uh, Unkid. The Lord of... Yeah, look at that. Okay. He has... Uh, Ak uh, Akrum has 632 troops there. Yeah, we got to be circumspect here that we don't get involved in... Oh, shoot. Shoot. Am 
Run past. Hopefully there's nobody else there to trap me. <laughs> this was poorly planned by not planning. Uh, we're running through after I land then, I guess. Because everywhere else is too dangerous. Uh, okay, hold on. You're going back. There might be some... Some groups divvying up the uh, threat here. Is he... Is the other guy... Did the other guy join that? Nope. Monchug's Gazait uh, army is not... Not the same one. Right? Hey! Oh, that is Kazate. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on, I said. Uh, a courier with a marriage offer has arrived. Uh, okay. No. Just not going that way. Uh, this is nuts. That's three armies run by there now. Let's grab some food stuffs here if we don't have them already. Date fruit, please. Lovely. There's the Astari armies over this way. And there's the dead Astari armies. Wow, they just got beat down hard. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, how do I get out of here? I can't go that way. Oh, yes, I can. See, he almost he almost has the ability to, try, to chase me down. He pretty much does. So, I get a duck. That can run fast. Keep running. <laughs> okay, so all of those guys uh, could have targeted us and caught us. Uh, and then that would have dragged in a bigger army. So that would have been terrible. Now we're over in uh, Nido Asurai land. Oh yeah, you're still chasing me, are you? Mm-hmm. I see. I see how it is. I think you've got two armies there, yeah. Yeah, you've got uh, two groups chasing my party. Okay. They're de they're definitely chasing my party. Uh the other guy seems to have turned back. If he did, that is foolish for the for the for the lot of them. Will not turn out well for you, sir. We have this massive speed advantage. Now, you are probably not noobs. Oh, no, you are all in, almost all infantry. Okay. We could take a good damage uh, on them here. If you are indeed. There you go. Let's, uh, let's chase them down. Uh, train. It's all good. Two Torguts. And then uh, you are going to be here. Wait, what the heck just happened? I just, didn't I just have two to train? I did. Oh. I require a horse to upgrade them. Okay. I see how it is. So, for this upgrade, I click up here to show the upgrade. So, this upgrade to go from the Kankli, which is the th tier 3, up to the tier 4, um, Torguds, they require a war mount. For the Vlandian Squires to upgrade, they also require a war mount. So, not ideal. We're out of war mounts already. That's the, that's the ticket now for training. Uh, so we're going to actually ignore that fight and go grab us some war mounts, if we can. Uh, if I can muster up some war mounts around the way, we will... That is a war mount, 726 isn't a terrible number. And then, if we look there, we can now train both of these guys, I believe? Or, no. We did train the Eternal Good. Yeah, I see, so we can now train another one. Right, so th right here, if we mouse over this, we can see that upgradable troops is 23, square 39. So they're all ready to go. But we just, just need to stop fighting and just go get mounts. That's the t oh, let's not go into that city. They won't want, want like that at all. Uh, we'll cut around here. Love the whole running through uh, enemy land all the time. That seems to be... Our thing. Uh, 
Yeah, 750 is a decent price for war mounts, and it's definitely worth um, upgrading. I think we'll do the horse archers first. They're very expensive to upgrade, but I think we'll do the horse archers first. Stuart, we have a stiff upper lip for quartermaster with food consumption and um, sweat shops. Reduction for workshops and uh, Quartermaster Siege Engine build rate in your party. Why is the Quartermaster giving a Siege Engine build rate? I'll do that. The other one doesn't matter at all for us. All right, we got another point to spend, and I think we'll put in attributes. I think we'll put it down in here, and we'll also put a focus in here, because getting that steward up means more troops. More troops means more army uh, power. So bigger, bigger and better. Size matters and all that jazz. Uh, Adram of the Asurai has been taken prisoner. It's not going. It's not going well for the Asurai. Just you know, throwing it out there. It's just not going well for them at all. Troop recruiting. Uh, okay, that's fine. And then I thought you guys should have horses, but you're not the horse trainees, huh? You're cows. Oh, that's the wrong kind of animal. Not gonna help me out in this context. Uh, wow. Like, almost no animals. Just riding around in enemy territory collecting horses. Probably not the best place to do it, but... Uh, a noble mount. Holy crap, that's good, but it's expensive. Uh, step hunter. Okay, that'll work. Actually, can I offload some of your... Some of the other mounts to you? It's a terrible price. It's not a good idea. We already just looked at that one. I'm going to give the cities, like, uh, Asra will start encouraging lords to fortify their estates. Yeah, no kidding. You think? You think that might be a good idea? <laughs> They're just getting there. Faces pummeled. There's another Asurai army. One, two, three, four, five lords just captured. This, uh. Oops, don't do that. That's dumb. This, uh. Oh, there's the Step Hunters. Good. This particular, uh, mercenary, uh, thing might be ending soon. Because it's not likely to work out well for us if we constantly have, uh, no enemies. We'll upgrade the Kankli. over this way to make sure we're not followed over to the horse ranch and get stuck in a corner. More hunters. Okay. Fifteen more needed. That's a lot of horses, dude. It's very expensive. We're at 21,000 bucks now. But the, the, the power these guys will run on the field is just insane. Heading off to Sturgeon Lands would actually be much safer right now. Until he gets himself into another battle. Orson Falk is being taken now as well. Jeepers, dude. Peace out wherever you can. You've lost so much. Razi, your own personal estate is down. You lost, uh, where what was over here? There was, uh, they had it, oh, Onira, they had, and it's now fallen. Rossi is, or the Asari, uh, just growing like crazy. Thirteen more to train. Uh, let's pop into tail, we'll sell off some of our loot. <laughs> Lord's escaping from prison. Deepers. Um, okay. They're not really concerned about taking any of these as prisoners, or as, uh, vassals. Let's see what you are like. Uh, pretty useless. We'll offload gear here. Might as well. Um, 
there are great prices for these to sell these at, but I'll offload some of them. No point in keeping them around. Uh, tournament to be had here if you'd like. Let's do that. Bit of fighting. Uh, Royal Destry. That is a noble mount. I don't think you can use, yeah. I don't think you can use noble mounts for training troops, but. Shield, give me a shield. What? What's going on? No, give me the dang shield. <laughs> oh. There we go. Jeepers. Oh, I just switched my bow, is what I did. Instead of my weapon. There we go. Now I can do some archery fun. Nice. Oh. No guard. Noggy got himself a good kill. Good job, Noggy. Uh oh. Genius has decided he wanted to take on the one two on two v one. Listen, my brother, don't let the guy pick a shield up. <laughs> nice, Isvan and Tovia. Both uh, very capable lords. It'll be Isvan to fight in the end. I'm curious what his shield condition was like. Wow, it was almost broken. <laughs> what the heck? One, what? That was so close. <laughs> All right, athletics is now 50. Nice, a few more uh, renown as well for now. Excellent. Let's actually train up that new athletics skill. Yeah, the noble horses are quite nice, so <clears throat> it'll be good for us or one of our companions to have that. I'm not sure I can make much use of it, but eh, yeah, probably. I don't know if I can even use it, actually. Uh, yeah. I think there are 90 riding required for them. Uh, Form-fitting armor is uh, armor weight reduced, so mm, it's all right. Not as much use when you're uh, on horseback, though. Combat movement speed of tier 3 plus troops in your formation for any type of formation. Uh, weapons handling well on foot and weapons handling for foot troops. Uh, we'll go with... Oh, and then both are kind of eh. I'm going to do this one, because that'll help us with uh, when we're not, when we're doing, like, in-campaign stuff. <laughs> oh, no. No big screen now, huh? Uh, all right, sell sword, no, and our horse. Oh, my gosh. I kind of want to use it. I kind of just want to sell it. Ah. <laughs> uh. What's the difference? 
Charge damage is notable. So that's when they just bash into the... The horse just bashes into it. Maneuver's the same. Speed is up by one. <laughs> right now, we're going to sell it. Because the number of uh, war mounts we could get for that, like that, and we'll still make money. Wait, what? How is that possible? 16,000. Yeah. 16,000. For seven step out horses. Um, yeah. I think that's... We could we could get a lot out of 7,000 horses. Um, 16... As we could get... 20... 20 to 30 war mounts for that one horse. It, yeah, we got to do it. Got to do it. We we need the war mounts once we get them. If we can afford them like that, with those sort of deals, that's really quite good. That's a lot of cash right now. Might not be later. Uh, landlord needs access. Might not be later that it matters, but for now it does. Hogs, those, and how are we on grain? We don't need any at all. Sea Raiders. Don't care about Sea Raiders. Uh, part of the trade. I do oh, care yeah. about that. What are, you, what are you selling me? 22 loads. I got 22 loads of something. Raw silk. Wow. Yeah. No problem there. Okay, Umbrella is not enemy lands. There may be enemies near it, but it's not enemy land. A Karahan is a noble mount, and that is a thousand dollar mount. So I'm gonna pass in the thousand dollar mounts. We'll keep rolling down the coast here. I really don't know what's gonna be left of the Asari after this, but I mean, uh, one of the advantages is if you want long term um relations boost you actually get more relations by uh improved relations by actually fighting against the people you want relations with because the actual lords is what you're fighting against right so um if you're going to that surgeon again if you're going to be fighting uh Alongside your guys, you're in this sort of scenario, you're not going to be doing a lot of that. 800 is a little expensive still for war mounts, but I'll take them. Um, thousands just too much for my budget. Too, too pricey for my blood. 11. 11 more, frankly. Uh, we have these guys now. Like, they're really well equipped now. They've got glaives with a, a glaive, a saber, and heavy recurve bow. They've got some pretty so decent mid middling armor. They're not they're not weaklings anymore. So that is a caravan or a caravan. So I'm not going to harass them. I really just want the horses. The quest over here. Since we have the cash right now, the influence has run out. So we're actually losing 600 bucks at a time now. Yeah, that's getting pricey. Very pricey. Uh, cows are actually quite cheap here. Uh, the hogs, on the other hand, I wanted to butcher. We'll take those and those. Uh, the plan was to butcher the hogs. And that's fine. We're going around to Krios. There's some horses. Just We just keep terrorizing this, the caravans even though they don't they just don't know that we're not at all interested in fighting them but they just keep running like like a bat out of hell every time a courier with a petros uh what uh he would join petros no no, 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 no. <laughs> We'd lose our brother. He would become the heir or the, the consort to the empress. How does this pray? 
<laughs> ah! Sitting in the garage, sunlight. Sunlight, sun, sunset? Wow, okay, I have no idea how this plays out. What happens with relations in this context? Our brother becomes the consort to the Southern Empire's queen or empress. That's a weird connection. What do we do? Oh my goodness. Talk about dropping a bomb on me here. Uh, she's 43. I don't think he would stay with us. All we'd gain is we'd lose him and we gain some relations with Regé. That's it. Pretty sure that's how that would play out and we'd lose him permanently. And I don't think I like that. Oh, okay. We'll get that sun, get that vitamin K going. Get that sunlight in there. Uh, we're going to decline the Empress's offer, as insulting as I'm sure that is. We're going to decline the Empress's grand offer. Why would she try to marry us? Uh, if if we got if you know, like you might imagine, um, that could be really a cool feature where you actually gained like a claim to the throne that sort of thing that's something that the banner kings has that i was really interested in but it's just not happening here uh Sanira the exile what's your sit situation like you're a merchant she's a she's an underhanded merchant she's a dishonest merchant no a cruel merchant interesting i'm gonna i'm gonna favor you because if we get later having needs of merchants that's that's a great choice she would actually be a very nice uh, person to have on as a merchant so there we go and we'll also offload that silk and that as well making some strange incomes off of selling the cheese and the butter we pick up at random villages all right um we have I really need a glaive. That'll solve problems. <laughs> Guess I'll be using a glaive instead of the lance. Okay. Um. Wow, reinforced highland launch. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, I was looking here though. See if there's anything uh, on the short list of nice products to buy but it looks like no the war rages on and the uh, economies are not doing sp spectacular right now we got more siege happening gains more skill and trade now 44 where's the nearest uh, horse village other than that one um i guess we go over this way now we can go down um Yalis. Yalis. Someday I might actually do a campaign where I'm not playing for uh, forming my own kingdom. Scaring the crap of the local caravan riders. Silver ore. Ten of it there. If there was a huge amount, we might actually raid that. Uh, that is a tiny... Troop of Stop there. Who are you? Many Zelia. This better. We know each other's names, even Benny Zilal, sorry, Benny Zilal. Uh Benny Zilal has a bunch of noobs. He just he just reformed. I'm in command! Soldier! Nope, I'm not in command. Oh, I'm just gonna go ah. smack some dudes. Do 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 Now, that was a tree. I looked off to the side. Yeah. 
<laughs> ah, pokey poke. Ah, pokey poke. <laughs> oh, missed you. Hey. Warrior, command is yours. I thought I gave that order already. Must have. Must have uh, altered my plans at some stage. Perhaps I was running out there solo. Just wanted to show them what I planned for them to do, and then they can come back and you know repeat. But now that you've seen me do it, oh, the, the leader's down already. That's because he was dancing around near us. Oh, that's one very dead Vigla. Ow! That's my horse. Boink. Boink. I'm taking it very seriously, okay? Those are, those are nicely aren't nice uh, gear you got guys right up there. Can I have some? Somebody not kill him, just uh, wound him so I can take his gear? No, I guess I can take his gear if he's dead too, right? I see you shooting arrows this way. What are we shooting at? Can I have a piece of this? Yes, I can. Oh, nice block, dude. Nice block. You survived that. Nope, I got you. No, yeah. Veteran Varys. Varys. Somebody hit that boy. Seriously? Thank you. Those uh, Varys are very solidly armored dudes. Free to go. There we go. Now we're starting to build relations with the Beni Zalil. Uh, that's not bad. Noble sons can upgrade. Uh, you know what? I'll wait for the bunch. No. That would be silly. They're just going to get dead. Oh, these. Hold on. These. Uh, reset that. The noble sons will upgrade. These guys we won't. We'll wait for them all to upgrade it at a, at a big chunk. The Faris that we just imprisoned there, we definitely could keep those. Oh my god. Oh, I've never seen that go to a piece of armor. Of shoulder armor. I think we got the, like, the, the Lord himself's armor. Look at that. Oh. Shapers, dude. Wow, I want to go into battle just to sit there and watch. Look at that stuff. Um, barbed arrows. You probably could use those. A larger pack of barbed arrows, a little more damage. Better gloves for you as well. Better boots for you as well. Better shoulders for you as well. Just getting all pimped out now. Um, no, that's not what those, those are here. They're even better. The ones we just gave her. Wow, okay, grab all that. And, uh, loot. Look at you. Where's my brother? My brother. Get better equipped. And you can now have... This one? It's just a hand-me-down game. That is actually better for her. And it suits the outfit. It fits much. It, visually, it's better for her. Uh, gloves are the same. Boots... Oh, that's all good. Oh, those are better gloves than yours. Look at that. Some nice upgrades. Very, very nice. Hello, Eli. Hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Be right back, guys.
Let them in. Just because they asked. <laughs> uh, uh, what faction are remaining here? So we are Vlandian. Thanks for the for the question, Peter. Uh, we are Vlandian. Just had to go let my my son and uh, uh, and his girlfriend inside. <laughs> Oops. Enjoy the stream, everyone. Uh, he streams as well, actually, three days a week, consistently. Not like his dad. Um, what was that? Where was I after here? We are right now just working as a uh, mercenary. We are clan tier two, 207 are now, now on our way to 350 for the next update, and then 900 for the big one, I think it is. Um, and uh, right now we're just hired up by the Asurai just for the, just for the uh, monies. That's all we're here for. We have uh, decided as per the earlier stream from, this, from today, that we're going to be focusing our attention for the time being on only our mounted troops, which is very, very expensive, but uh, but worth it. Um, mess with us. I don't think you're going to mess with us. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Seriously. It just rando rolled a kill on a Torgud from looters. Wow. It's not supposed to still do that anymore. Come on, that is just sour. That's so sour. Ugh. Landian champions, we'll upgrade them to the Banner Knights. Those are the top tier ones. That's just dumb when it does that. It, it used to do that like very frequently. It used to be so bad that it was never worth touching the random button. Once you had anything but total noob troops. Because you'd lose one every second time. Like it's just, it was just a non-stop suicide for them. I haven't had that even... That's the first time I've had that since uh, since we've been playing again. So, I mean, it's it's not even remotely reasonable that looters would ever kill one of those guys. Not even remotely. Did we check the price here? Hmm. It's not a great price. Uh, hello. Uh, Kur Karakajit. Those are not... If those are well-appointed well, uh, troops... Yeah, they're not they're not nothing we're out of here that's not worth it for me not worth it for me that's another thing about being mounted we're really fast we went at six two which is like twice what we were moving out when we had a mixed uh mixed bag of troops uh still have one of the lords to deal with Let's uh, look at this uh, in this arena fight. A uh, splint boots. Oh, those are nice. Hey, James, welcome back, man. Just because you missed it. Uh, let's uh, let's do. Let's just fight for these boots. Uh, Twenty-two leg armor. Quite nice. Oh, that was a big whiff. I love how he just like half blocks. I, you're what? Yeah, I was just gonna say you're one of the lords, aren't you? And that puts him down, but not out. Yeah, I thought so. Green uh, is doing good still. So. Oh boy. Oh, brother of mine, can you stop this whole contending with me? You're supposed to help me win. You're not helping me win with the 218 damage to your head, buddy. I'm sorry. Neither are you. Look at these armed pauldrons. These are insane. Best I've ever seen. Third chime, stream ready to start. I did that one just for you, James. You're welcome. All right. We just have a, a I just love this armor. We got to find the rest of it because dang, it's good. Nice thing about tournaments is, and the bad thing about tournaments is you get your own gear. So that's why Lords have like an overwhelming advantage in tournament fights. 
Now, I, it is a heavy armor gear. Come on. Thank you. The strap wasn't working because my buddy there was not doing the smart thing. Oh, this is Norgar. It's like, huh? what is this guy in this strange armor? I've not seen it before. He doesn't look very regal. Look at that. that. He took a lot of beating. A lot of beating. Family rivalries. Sibling fights. Yeah, he's he's decently armored. The more armor we give him, the more armor we give him, the harder he is to fight in tournaments. So, like I said, you get your own gear. Tough one. So the splint boots. See who's uh, gonna get an advantage out of those. What do you think? If there's enough people uh, actively back, we can definitely get into uh, pulling more polls and votes and stuff. Look at that armor. We're gonna put that on. 22 armor for the feet. Love it. We're just starting to get geared up in a decent way here, which is awesome. All right, so uh, anything here that we need, no, sell. Anything here that we should be keeping, definitely not, sell. Uh, boots, we'll hold on to that. Um, 176, why is that better? Hold on to that. We'll hold on to a bit of shoulders. Nothing else in there is useful. Uh, oh, those are better boots, yes? Mm, no, they're both the same. And they're furrier. Right, and then offload that. So we got uh, boots, gloves, shoulders, and hat for, for someone. I don't think anybody we have would use them. Pretty sure that's the case. We could check everybody to make sure. Those are better, but it's more of a flip. So body armor versus arm armor. Um... As a rider, she's more likely to get body blows than she is arm or leg blows. Uh, or sorry, as an archer. If she's a rider, arm uh, body armor that does heavy arm and leg armor is actually quite good because it's harder to hit the torso when you're up on the uh, horse with a shield in your in, in your lap. So we could buy some uh, better gear, but right now we're doing okay. Just kind of trampsing our way through with uh, with the gear that we've got doing okay-ish with it. A charger is a war mount. There's six of them there. Go ahead and buy those up. We definitely need a ton of war mounts. Uh, Palfrey is not a terrible price. These guys are at a loss for sure. We're gonna, we're gonna get rid of all but 10 of them. And that leaves us with, yeah, let's, let's say all but 15 of them. And that leaves us with 20 horses for, um, for the infantry, like, like, uh, Loen here who's on foot. Uh, infantry on foot get a speed buff for having a horse in the party. They're like mounted infantry, basically. That's helpful. Uh, we do have prisoners, or do we? Yeah, uh, those are really potent dudes, the palace guards. Um, those are really good. Are these an elite unit? No. Are they? Do they? Wait, do these guys have two types of elite units? Is that an elite mounted unit? Tier 5, no. Tier 6 would be elite, so that's not. They just, that's weird. Okay. They have two separate tiers, or what? These are their Asurai Vanguard Ferris. This guy is redonkulously armored. Look at this. 51, 16, 25. I want a piece of that. Mastercrafted Southern Scale over Chain Hobart. That is nuts. 
absolutely nuts. 43 on the head armor, 20 on the hands, 22 on the feet, and uh, yeah, an Askarat, which is a noble mount as well. Those guys are nuts. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my. And a Mameluke's lance with throwing javelin things, right? Yeah, javelins. They do a lot of damage, 121 pierce damage. Wow, and a nice long cascada sword. Yeah, those are really nice units. We are going to keep those guys here, and I think we might actually keep these. Uh, mm, no, no, we won't keep them around. They'll be a nice ransom. What are those three worth? A hundred bucks a piece to ransom. Uh, Imperial Equite will ransom off and as well. So I'll hold on to those other ones. So what happens is if I go to the prisoners and I've got them clicked here when i go into the keep and i hit um try well i can't now because there's nobody available if i were to have others and i tell them to sell all of them anytime those guys are marked like that they won't be sold kind of like a regular item as well but all right where to i think back towards um was eight lands maybe i like fighting the Imperials, more so than the Kazate. Let's, let's talk to Lucan. Lucan has. Uh, That's close enough. Who are you? Such a really fun helmet. All right, he has some message, some information. Andre, he's the lord of a. Uh, Lucan is the lord of one of the empires, whichever one I'm thinking. I don't know, an empire. Um, is he lord of the Northern Empire? Yeah. Leader of the whole empire, just like we might be someday. You know, some long distant, some future dream world where we have lands and subjects, territory. Uh, not doing the caravan raiding again until we know what sort of terrain or area we're going to be in. Because I'd hate to just pummel the crap out of our. That's a bad place to go to. Bad place. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Don't run that way. Uh, if I run right through there, and there's like high probability that somebody will come popping right out of that town at the wrong time. It's easy enough to get ourselves trapped without being in danger zone. Do we have the space? Yeah, we have five more spots. We'll take on some more of the noble sons since we're here. That's Makeb. That is also Baltikand. That is at a city. Or a, a castle. More. Three more recruits. Discovered. What? Oh, people. Oh, hello. He's got 140 dudes and he's running. Uh, Unkid has made peace with the Southern Empire. So now it's only the Kazite. They, they got past all those uh, those others. That, this dude is chasing me hard. Uh, we'll take those two. We will need them if we get in a squabbling match with him right now. Uh, one, two. Good. I'd like to get some of oh, these squares. Mm, yeah, okay. We're likely to get into a fight here. It looks like he is chasing us pretty, pretty re repeatedly or consistently. Uh, wait a second. He did, seems to have turned around. What do you have for troops? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Oh, that is not at all an issue. Look at that. Footman infantry. He's got some Darkans. But he's not chasing me. Engaging. He does think he can do this. I'll just leave. That was a good that was a good play. I probably I, I probably could have beat him. That might have been an easy win. I don't know. I got I got a little little uh, surprised when he turned to attack us. Like, wait a second. Does he know something I don't know? Uh, one. We need two more. To fill up our coffers. Like coffers, I mean, not coffers at all. Just a whole bunch of dudes riding horses. All right. First of all, Step Hunter. Oh, yeah, nice. Step Horses are usually cheaper than that, but... Oh, that is not a Nobles? What? Huh. 
that is associated with Ostengard. That one's also not a noble village. Yeah, but it does have horses. They're getting more and more expensive here, man. No, oh, we'll wait there. That's silly. Uh, courier's arrived, bearing a message from Nkeet. He remarks of your growing reputation. He asks if you would consider pledging yourself as a vassal of the Asari. Um, You should speak in person if interested. Well, we won't be speaking in person about that other than to say, nah. I'm not currently interested in joining. Now, I might consider if that's something you guys want to see. Instead of what we're doing, instead of forming the... Uh, Nobordium Consortium, or whatever we'll be. Uh, steward skill 103. Very nice. As long as we're not bored doing it, it'll be accurate. Steward number four. <clears throat> the fourth perk. <coughs> Extra food for each food taken during village raids. Or, uh, paid in promise. Companion wages and, and recruitment fees dropped. A discarded armor donated to troops or increased experience. We're doing that one. The next one is discarded weapons. So we'll hopefully get that one as well. Yeah. So, uh, giving hands and paid in promise. Those ones, like, you... Basically, your loot, instead of collecting and selling your loot, later on you can get you can have piles of money. So instead of that, you can basically just let the people keep it, and it converts it into XP. It's slow. It's not a lot, but it's slow. Um, thrust damage from pole arms, or swing down speed from pole arms. We're going swing speed from pole arms because my, my big pie-in-the-sky dream is to get ourselves a nice giant glaive to do some utter slaughtering with. So that's what we'll do. Squires trained. No, wait. Do squires need the horses? They do. That's right. So straight up from the squires, we need the horses. That's uh, that's expensive. Hold on. Um, we'll keep going around over here. There's a horse village over that way. I can trade possibly with the caravan. I don't think the caravans actually carry war horses around, do they? Your chat keeps going blank. What? Is it a, is it a phone app thing? Maybe you reboot the uh, the the whatever phone you use. Like the uh, shut off the app and then turn it back on. I don't know. I've never seen that happen. If we were in the business of ma mashing up villages and. And caravans and stuff, man, you could just go ridiculously evil and make a mess. Uh, Mahir. Hello, Mahir. Uh, let's see what you have for product. No well, thanks. Let's go in here. Uh, we'll train up those Torgud. They become Kashig, which is actually the level 6. Tier 5, sorry. Oh, we could also recruit one more dude from here as one of our new infantry, or new riders. Look at that. He's glowing. All right, let's see if we can uh, cut this guy off. I mean, I know whatever si whatever stuff he's got is not going to suffice to keep us, but I am your enemy at the moment. Probably be your friend later. Uh, he has, for infantry... Um, Darkons, which are really, really well trained. He's not he's not got noobs here. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. He's just a very small force, so we should be able to take him without too much I'm loss. Reset the chat filter. Really? Two hundred yards out, huh? Let's say we take our Warrior! Um, uh, are these move, guys, uh, no, actually here, forward. and there, horses, horses in the skein Riders, on the flank, left flank, moving. Hear me. and uh, uh, horse archers in loose formation, move out. and you're going to go from here across here, as if you were actually uh, just regular archers. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> missed him. Oh, <laughs> that might that might have hit him. He, did. he was not for dodging. Yeah, not exactly viable. Hey, do you need that uh, face? Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. That did not work out in my favor. Not at all. Ah. <laughs> Dancing like a fool with these guys. Hey, hey, none of that. You're not supposed to be able to charge me quite like that. Alright, I'll stop dancing with them. I'm already at half health. <laughs> Noble son killed the horse archer. Nice. Oh, and he shot down the Lord. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Uh, uh, mounts Boom. up here, or riders rather up here. Uh, horse archers. That's Step the term over. Uh, Forward. Cavalry. Onwards. There's two rider or two mounted units here. Oh yeah. Oh oh, that was that was nearly bad. Hey, right. don't poke the horsey. He didn't do anything to you. Everyone on your own. Ooh, an elite charge lance into uh, right into my. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no, do mind, do mind. Lots of minding. There we go. That was the cataphract, probably, that got the kill. Uh, any outliers that are actually targetable? I don't see any targets. Uh, there we go. We might be able to get in here and do some damage. Yep, there's a damage, all right. <laughs> wow, that is that is one impressive skill for an archer. He just he just parried my lance. Well, not lancing. Hey, Gandis skill. Uh, too many, too many bodies in here. These uh, dark guns. Nope, get away from my dudes. Oh, I just keep getting body blocked by my own guys. And these shark <laughs> there's, there's just too much melee going on here. I can't. These dark guns know how to know how to do this. Look at that! Wow! That was very impressive fighting on his part. That's the highest infantry unit of the enemy. The leader of the world! That's the plan, James. 13 and a half influence, 6 renown. Not bad. It wasn't a great fight. What did we lose there? Yeah, we lost 3 units. Mm, it's too bad. Uh, the Noble Sons get an upgrade right away. Where'd they go? Oh, there we go. I, I moved the wrong group there. Okay, and the Galant, is that the ones that need the horse upgrade? 29 units to be upgraded. The Kashig, sure. The Turguds, boom. Uh, Galant, they do not need the ride, do they? Which ones need a mount? The Kankli and the Vladiat. Look at that, 2,600 bucks. Our cost is now 740 for just our party of 93. Wow, something to do with all horses. We actually still have five uh, being champions somehow and two wildlings. We only had three wildlings, I think, at the, for the total and six flan, uh, champions. So somehow, I mean, they're, they're just so many riders. Those guys aren't getting involved in fights, I guess. That's probably what's happening. The Heavy Lancer isn't an elite, and we're not going to bring him on, but look at these Darkons. 
46, 14, 5. They've got their skills are just through the roof. Well, they're actually not that by that high. I, I misunderstood. Good sword though, long reach, nice solid shield. They got a uh, throwing spear. It says it's called a throwing spear, but it's not a throwing spear. That is not a throwing weapon. May I don't know. Maybe they have a throwing version of it that doesn't show as a throwing version. And they're pretty heavily armored as well. So including a very, very solid headgear, which is uh, definitely keeping them alive in those charges. Uh, scale Wardlord's Bracers. Oh, I was like, what the 300? What? No, that is not 300. That is uh, awesome for me, though. Very shiny. I'm going with the shiny motif, apparently. Uh, horse armor. Nice. Um, this leather tunic might be of some good. Tug of wooden arrow. Uh, increased range accuracy penalty. Or decreased range accuracy penalty. Okay, hold on. We have our lovely low end healer who is working with the archers. A backsword. Hmm. Uh, worn reinforced suede boots. They're not better than mine, but. Um, I'm going to give those to our medic. Um, good. Desert Oval Shield. No. Eastern Cavalry Shield. It's lighter weight. It is counted as a large shield. It's a higher tier. It's less tough, but... Uh, maybe I'll wield that. Did I wield that? That is a much, much tougher shield. Yeah, let's let's switch up. Looks pretty awesome. Scorpion. A uh, heavy saber. Oh, I like that. Got more cut damage, more pierce damage. It's slightly slower thrust, slightly less handling, but it's a little bit longer still. Very nice. Master step recurve bow. Uh, a horse archer master would do well with that. We're going to lock that in. It's also quite a nice one. Uh, nothing of super import there. Uh, we'll pull this over here, and that's probably the best armor there, so we're going to lock that in. Uh, the rest, we're going to actually keep this stuff because we're more desperately in need of cash right now than tiny little trickles of XP. Oh, hi. Uh, no got better boots, I approve. Uh, head armor 10. Nice. Totally fits her. Although it's more of a horse archer type of uh, get-up, but that's fine. Um, no, you're good. You're good. Excellent. Well, we got some good loot there. If we left it, we'd be 570 XP, but that's like spread out over the whole army. So that's not really great. Suna has created an army. Uh, hi. You are full of fresh recruits that need some training. Oh, yes. Stop that. Oh, oh yeah. yes. I will stop for now until I'm ready to decapitate you. All right. So they have 15 cav, which will probably be the base. Oh, he's got some manavliotons. Yeah. Those guys we don't want to charge into. The Imperial Trained Infantry will shield wall in front of the Manevliaton to which are uh, two-hander weapons. So the cavalry they have there are the Jawal recruits, Bedouins, and camel riders. And a few Equite. And then they got six horse archers. So it'll be, and there's also some heavy horsemen in there. It'll be, uh, it'll be an interesting fight. Command! I do not want to be charging into... Charge! No, don't charge. That was not the command I meant to give you. I meant to give you Point this man. command. Move out. Oh. Onwards. Um, hear me. Forward. Forward. Uh, fourth is going to forward. Third's gonna go into wide. Third is going to go into skin. Horse archers over here, please. Get moving. And we'll get the skin to follow, follow me. me. Nope. 
Didn't see you coming. I heard you, but I didn't see you. I don't want to get any closer than that. That is already too close. Look at this. That is a force and a half. Take out this group, please, Kev. Nope, too many arrows coming this way. What's that? On my flag! Oh, that's 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 towards my horses. Oops. <laughs> Got myself turned around there. I was scared scared myself of my, by my own dudes. These guys are fast. You gotta be, I guess, if you're a horse archer. Alright. They're still a hundred and some yards off, so. Horsemen! Third, you're gonna form up like this Move! in the valley. Soldiers! Forward! It just keeps pulling back as we, uh. Was fourth, not third. All the Move out. And these guys are elusive, that's for sure. <coughs> there we go. Came in behind the horse archers. It wasn't safe for you, man. It was not safe for you. All right, enemies' actual troops are over here. Hear me! Get moving! On! Onward! Boy, I didn't realize there was still one of you standing. There he goes. And they got the contact. That's a nice lancing. A nice happy lancing. All right, everybody. Command is yours! Let's make this fight happen. Hi, bud. Yeah. You didn't need that guy dead, did I? No, no, of course not. Hello, lordly one. Oh, he got out of the range. Darn it. Let's see what we can do about this. Yeah, not the right delivered. That's what I'm that's what you're doing, Drake. You're gonna get yourself dead. Yeah, those Manavalutons, don't wanna mess with them. See, it's those spear weapons oops, those spear weapons there. Arrgh. This battle is too close to the edge of the map. Literally, like stepping off the map for this. Nope, not close enough. Oh, no, no, too close. Too close. Too close. Bad news, bad news, bad news. Get out. <laughs> oh, this is a bloodbath. Look at this, this is terrible. That was a poor choice to let the sergeants do their job. I mean, the commanders do their own job. 
That was bad news. Positioning was all wrong for that. There we go. There's still a melee here. A death ball. this much troops all day. A long time ago, we have really taken beating here. Oh, that was foolish. Didn't realize I was running that close to him. Oh, boy. Wow. Those Monopoly attacks, they're no, no slouches. Look at that. These guys right here with their big pole arms. There's another Kashig dead. And I can't do a thing about this now. There's like two of them left there. Look at that. Squire wounded again. Oh, that was brutal. I'll remember this, I hope. Holy crap, we got 40 of our dudes killed. We are out of the war. We are very much out of the war. Zadius. Best, best enemy we fought yet. Or at least most effective. Jeepers, that was brutal. We only have room for 20 prisoners because, like, nobody's on their feet right now. Yeah. Sheepers. These guys right here. Look at that. And they weren't even the elite ones. It's those pole arms, right? They're, they wield this thing. It's a curved, long pole arm. Kind of like a glaive. Terrible. Terribly destructive is what it is. There's eight raiders. Those are the regular ones. Wow. Your wall. We have no consequence. Oh boy. Very, very, very painful. Wow. That's a lesson I hope I don't ever repeat. Watch the edge of the field, dude. That's dangerous. I mean, generally, the knights have been doing good for things, but that did not work out generally well at all. No matter how many times I shuffle them, there's only 53 of them left. We had 96 going into that. Wow. Well, legionary helmet. I'll take it. Nice upgrade. Um, This wicker square shield actually would be great on... Not you. On you. But you don't actually wield a shield. Never mind. Uh, he's got an okay shield. He came with it. Uh, let's give him some better gloves. Very solid, better gloves. Excellent as well. Oh man, so painful. We'll give her a better slashing sword. Some better boots. Banner of the Ferris Falcon. Da uh, decreased ranged accuracy penalty. 
She's already got this. I like the sound of that one better. It does, it's the exact same function. Wow. Large bag of light corals. Crossbow bolts. Cool. Um. Wow. That was extremely painful. Lots of loot, but hardly makes up for it. Oh, what? What? Did I just take the loot and it did the whole... Ah, crap. The loot was uh, probably full. Is, is our inventory full? Yeah, it pushed us through our full inventory, so it stops at a certain amount. Like, it only takes up to there, and then you have to tell it to take all again. And I was too quickity-quick to... Oh, my God, look at that. We have 23 units standing, and we are in the middle of enemy turf. Right out, right out, friend, right out. Me seven. So the sooner they get back on their horses and start moving again on their own. Oh, hello. There's a future opportunity. So this is what we want to look for later. Scorpion King. Yeah, a dead Scorpion King. We're nearly dead. Um, we have 44 health ourselves. That was a lot of influence for it, gaining uh, enough to be making good money, but... Uh, so what's happened here is there's been a rebellion in Onera. Uh, the faction they rebel from is in a perma war with them until they make it, I don't know what it's, 45 days or 35 days or something like that, then they can peace out. They usually peace out... The only way they usually peace out is go straight to uh, join... Um, straight to join a faction. And there's a lot of... Look at them. Look at how powerful they've become. Well, they only get... Only taken a few casts, actually. Felt bad, felt worse. There, 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 and there. And actually, they're going to take Onira. Oh! Did they lose... Yeah, I think they lost Onira to a, to a rebellion. Anyways. Um, so then the, the rebellion group... Uh, if they stay standing, or even if they don't, you can declare war on them. And actually, as a kingdom, or as a, as a clan, you can declare war on, the, on a faction like that. Like, I could declare war on the Southern Empire myself, but it would be me against the Southern Empire permanently. Right? Which would be probably, probably not ideal. Uh, let's see about who we're going to keep here. I'm not going to keep the Heavy Lancer. These guys are here for, this, for the market value. Uh, Aquate, Heavy Horse, Jerks, I mean, Manevletons. We'll keep the Cataphracts and the, the higher tier ones. The Elite and the Cataphracts, just because they're so really, really high. These are a... I believe these guys are... They're a Mercenary Band, so they don't get higher than that, but they'd be fine for... Um, for horse archers to add to the to the group they're basically a uh group of um what would they be called i don't even know neutrals not neutral minor factions what would they be that's not karakajit are they i don't know anyways um we'll sell off that stuff Elite haired crossbowman. So yeah, we could actually if when we're we'll start watching for that when we get nearing tier four. And that's kind of a great opportunity to get in without taking on one of the major empires initially. Uh you can get the ground, take the castle or the, the city, and then hold it without becoming an empire. So you're outside you're sort of sitting in the vague outside of the uh of the um you're, like, you're not the rebel anymore. Somebody else took it. But you're not a kingdom, so you don't have di proper diplomacy yet. You can't form an army, but at the same time, none of your troops are going to be attacked. So it's a weird sort of a uh, safe uh, timeout zone you can put yourself into. Uh, throwing weapons. We have draw speed for throwing weapons option. And for the same for the captain mode. Or damage the shields with throwing weapons. I don't know that any of these make much of a difference. 
draw speed or damage. I think we'll just do the damage. I don't do a lot of throwing weapons, and I'm not going to do much, if, at all, if any, later game. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I even put the focus point into that. So uh, We're going to stick with pole arms. We're going to try to get a glaive. So other than that, let's go last point into steward. So now we have five focus and in steward and some intelligence. Or after that fight, that's questionable, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's offload junk, a lot of it. That's okay. 13,000 bucks puts us to 35k. And that was without selling any of this. And, ooh. Nice. Actually be able to sell those without losing money. <clears throat> I don't know the reference, but uh, that was bloody close. <laughs> We're so nervous about that one. Um, I'm going to toss this other one. It's not relevant because we have an identical version that's better. Uh, a little less of those is okay. And then what do we got for cheap foods here? Anything? Brains, we got 110 already. Fish, 41 already. Meat, no, we can pick some up though on the way. Butter and cheese, we can pick up on the way. Olives are not in a great sale. Beer is. Let's uh, keep the beer going. Don't want to lose. Uh, don't want to lose our troops to a lack of beer. That'd be horrible and morally appropriate, I suppose. All right, let's keep moving here. Uh, and keep the SRI granted. Niza to taste despite the council. So he didn't take it for himself? Uh, okay. That's weird. Didn't he have that before? Um, that seems weird. We are working for the Asura, uh, the Asurite, which is Unkeed, and his holdings are what? He has no holdings? Oh, the clan holdings. There we go. Oh, Kuyaz and Sanala. Oh, yeah, he has already two cities of his own. So he was over. He was oversupplied there. <clears throat> Let's pop into whatever, wherever the village is to target. It's really bloody hard to target the villages unless you're zoomed in. <clears throat> uh, let's buy a couple cattle and then uh, do a bit of butcher work. All right, twelve meat, four hides. No, get a bit of a bit of food. Uh, we need more troops. <laughs> the Gilman have left the Asarite. We didn't peace out with anybody, did we? No. Um, they probably just got hired up by somebody else. Look at that, a Sturgeon castle in the middle of the Empire here. Weird. Uh, Thractre is not originally Imperial. I don't think Bar Baron Castle. No, Baron is old Empire land. And that is Empire Land, so the Batanians are actually doing okay. Over here, anyways. They haven't actually lost any turf over here. Wow. Oh, and they also took... Uh, oh, wow. They took three forts in that their last war. Or their current war. I don't know which one it is. We're going to head, uh, hopefully not into a conflict. We're going to head over this way and try to get to Sarko. Get ourselves uh, some more troops in the of the imperial type. The mounted rider types are phenomenal, um, unless you're stupid enough to send them charging like a lunatic into death and carnage. Are you gonna get attacked? I kinda hope so. So I can help you out, but looks like the answer's no. I wasn't quick if enough. If you please stop there, I would ask for your name. Is it is it is she scary enough yet, guys? This was the one that was trying to marry her brother. <laughs> Mark it down, you'll be hearing about me. You don't know me? You just tried to marry my brother. No wonder you gotta know. Uh, there we go. And, um, doop, doop, doop. you have a problem, huh? Uh, collecting taxes for the, for the Empress. Oh, sure. I'll collect half your taxes and keep them for myself. Lovely. But where is that done? Down this way. Alright. Uh later. Oh what is the what is the duration on that quest? I should check, eh? Uh 20 days. 
Let's do a quick uh, tour uh, towards the Vlandian lands. We'll grab ourselves some some recruits down here near Suggle. And then we'll head back for that. Stop for silver on the way if the price is right. Eh, it's not great. Under 75 I like to buy, but... Rote. Okay, Rote. Uh, this away, this away. Ride faster, man, ride faster. Gained medicine skill of 50. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we hit 50 in medicine, we can stop this chat task. So, uh, healing rate and hit point recovery after each offensive battle. Or uh, healing rate when stationary in the campaign map. So, we won't walk it off, which does two things. As the surgeon, which we're not... <laughs> Oh, pardon me, which we won't be after this. The healing rate when moving on the campaign map. So if we, if our surgeon is incapacitated, I suppose we'll act as that, but... Or if we send her off to do something else. <clears throat> the, but the healing rate on campaign map, to me, is much better than the stationary option. It's double when you're stationary, but... You're going to be moving a lot more. Um, they're going to heal more while you're moving. And then 10 hit points recovery after an offensive battle. So... This one is uh, after each battle, 30% recovery of lost hit points. This one is after a successful battle, plus 10 hit points. So we could get 50 plus hit points. We have 110. So we would get uh, 33 back from one, and so 43 hit points is the least we can have after we win an offensive battle. Or lose, not get knocked out in an offensive battle. Like, you know, that last time. But we came up, we came up not totally incapacitated last time, which is good. Uh, I don't want to stop for stuff like that. I want to keep going through to the west. We're still a w quite a ways away from our clan tier. Uh, 115. Um, renowned still. Uh, O'Neill rebels have taken prisoner by the Kuzate. So the Kuzate took it. Okay. There's a Vlandian, uh, what is it? Vlandian Western Empire battle. Big deal there. Now, over here, we're looking for... Um, the Macastle election started. All right. This is the recruits. Squires, please. And better horses as well. Mm, chargers or war mounts. Corsairs or war mounts. And then recruit, but, but, oh, this isn't a caps, castle recruitable. Does this hunk only has, have one? What? Huh. Weird. Um, all right. I didn't realize it was hunk castle had only one, uh, village associated with it. That sucks. Hideout spotted. Blacks for 10. Sure. You have a bandit base camp. No, thank you. A mission. No, thank you. Uh, made peace with Kazate. Okay. Well, we weren't uh, going to be there for the fight anytime soon, anyways. And we've got taxes to collect for for somebody. Wait, what am I? Oh, that is also not connected to this place. Jeepers! One there and one up there. Good. I'm hitting all the wrong targets here. Oh, I didn't get the medicine. What I do? There we go. Do that one and then hit done. Okay, but also because we've done that, we can now go ahead. We've hit the that marker, the fifty mark, where now we can put our our surgeon back onto being a surgeon, so she can actually she has medicine ninety five. So go walk it off in sledges, uh, so she can actually do a better job of uh, medicining. Uh, there we go. You have uh, prevented a medicine recover. The same recover hit points and stuff. So she'll, if she gets knocked out in the battle, she will come back without being uh, incapacitated. So she can act as the surgeon and give her buffs while she's recovered. That sounds pretty good. Uh, she gets back on her own feet better. And then the walk it off is exactly what I wanted for her campaign map bonus. That is, again, a personal. The sledge is only for the hit points of the mount is only for the party leader. Uh, but the 50% uh, 
party speed penalty from wounded. So we don't slow down as much when we're wounded, which is pretty important. We'll go ahead with another focus in there because she's our medic extraordinaire. Squire recruitments. 64 units now. All right, well, we'll we've got, we got, did well for cash for there and we've managed to pump up a good amount of, of renown from all those battles. Uh, lots more to go, but Iron Ore for 30. Yes, we'll take that. We can move our way through Batanian land. I wouldn't mind also getting some more archers. They do help a lot, but they're not uh, they're not on the docket. If you guys think uh, um, we need to refocus before then, let me know. But I think for now, we'll be okay to um, mostly stay where we are as far as uh, what we're doing. Just repeat, rinse, repeat until we get our, well, recover our dudes, then rinse, repeat with another another uh, action thing. I don't want to end our contract with these guys. <clears throat> hey, Hunter, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? How's it going? Mr. Embercrombie. Uh, we, we don't want to, um, we don't want to end our contract, mercenary contract, until at least our influence is gone, which is only another day away. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but we just had a nice big bloodbath, and it wasn't just the enemy blood. We lost a lot there. But the war is now over. Part of the trade, yes please. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. I will find new stuff myself. Thank you. Uh, sheeps and pigs, huh? Take the pigs. Oh, hold on. Let's take the, yeah, let's take the pigs. Got the out of the trade quest. A little more squires and A's and galant. Um, party. We have 86 of 97. Still get 11 more riders. Where do we go? Where do we go? Prevand. Prevand. Skeland. Over this way by this this castle here. Uh, Unkita Vassaran grants Tumna Castle to Hashan. Alright. There we go. Oh, see, I did. I did. It's Abercrombie, not Abercrombie. As we spoke of last time. <laughs> You'd think I'd have learned. Alright, these guys. I'm glad you're here, whatever the heck your name is. <laughs> However, I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, let's grab this one too. Nice little spot to double up on your recruits. It's, like, it's a quaint little castle. Relatively easy to defend. Uh, stone, a sco stone skip across the lake to Oxhall. Hmm. Lots of nobles. Oh, 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 no, no. Too many. There we go. Overpriced foods, too. Alright, leave there. Check our piglets. Okay, now. Let's go to the villages, uh, the cities. And get some pop through to maybe Batanian lands. We're gonna go find ourselves a new, uh, a new job to do, because that one ended. Beer for sale? Oh yeah, we'll definitely sell for the, all the beer for that profit. I approve. Um, not a huge price on the olives. I'll drop it. Drop most of them. They're all profitable, so... Uh, no, it's much better prices for that elsewhere. And, uh, quality... Oh, actually, let's check for your horses. 630. Um, 877. That's a lot of money. We'll do it. Ooh, okay. Um, so squires can train. 
that just a lack of horses? No, we do have horses still. All right. Had enough horses to do that. Now our cost is 743 per day for our army. Almost back up to what it was before we get slaughtered. All right. Up to the uh, Drimur stop. It's a, it's a little uh, pit stop at the end of the valley. Top of the valley. Doing pretty good. We streamed a bunch of this uh, this morning or this afternoon. And then uh, back for a little bit more time tonight. Don't know how long, but a little bit. Well, oh, is this, a, is this the silver miner? Mm hmm. Yields in silver ore. Don't mind if I do. A thousand one bucks for whatever silver ore we just got from him. For 14 silver ore? That's good price. Uh, so we could get more Batanian troops in uh, these areas in the villages, so. I think we'll head up to... Oh, wait, we had that quest. Are we going to be able to fulfill it? 12 days remaining. Yeah, we'll have no problems fulfilling it, I think. We do need, like, three days of just collecting time, so we got to head there pretty much right away. We'll pop in and do a bit of sale selling as we go by. Uh, hold on. I should offload any prisoners. We don't have any. And then selling. Uh, looks like the iron's going to be okay f to sell. At least some of it. Flax isn't a great price for it. Over to Denglanus. Ride, my friends, ride. Flax for 13, sure, we'll sell that. Iron ore 57, better than the last time. There we go. We're still barely underburdened now. Uh, uh, price on horses, actually. There are horses around here. The glint are ponies are bred out here. Primarily, anyways. That's where they're from. Uh, that's fine. Scouting is 34, which means we don't have somebody doing our scouting. Do, 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 do. Batanian hobby horses are not mounts. The charger is. I mean, war mounts. And Batanian, or the glinter pony is also a war mount. Means more to train. No. Uh, which means I need to actually do some fighting to train any more dudes. So we have, uh, what sort of numbers for horse archers? Uh, one for 20. 20 horse archers. That's how counting does. One for 20. So my kids count. Uh, and we can recruit this guy. Can we recruit this guy? Yes, we have the room. There we go. That's two of the, uh, Asari Vanguard Faris. Now recruited. Swing by Swindrin. Rebels are... Oh! Plus and Falk is a great location for to, to get a rebel, rebellion city. If you're going to get faction uh, thing there. That's good. A bunch more horses. We're down to 5400 bucks. Uh, do we have any... Yeah, we still got 15 non. That's probably as low as we want to go on those. So, All right, through here, we're going to see about uh, grabbing some lumber and taking it off to the Imperial Lands. High Hills Lumber. 18 bucks piece. Sure. Almost filled my inventory, too. Now, over this way, whatever the fastest pathing is, that's a long freaking haul, okay. Uh, Lake it on. That's where we're going. Let's take a journey, shall we? Since we're basically not in a war. If we find an asteroid, we'll probably drop out of the war. We'll finish the quest. And then re reassess. So, if we find another faction... Uh, Regenwald Sturgeons has something something. I missed it uh, badly because it just spammed like crazy. Uh, we need a proper journal for this. Like, There's no, no good reason why there's not a journal. Um, diplomacy. All oh, right, I can't do. No, I can't do that. Northern Empire is at war with the Southern Empire. That's how we tell. 
Because they know Western and Vlandians are at war, Batanians are not at war, Southern Empire is of course at war with the Northern, Sturgeons are at war with the Vlandians. Okay, Vlandians have two Sturgeon and Western Empire targets. Ah, maybe that's who we uh, get paid to fight for. Can't finish the stream today. Needs to, oh no. Gotta appease the baby. Yes. Yes. Take care of the little ones. Hey, you can always watch it later and you can speed run it. So put it on uh, fast mode in between battles. Uh, have a good night. Hope the little one gets well soon. They're resilient things, but you gotta keep loving on them. Uh, that's okay to make some money there. It's worth just dropping. Take uh, some of that. Profits as well. There as well. The silver, uh, I'd like higher price than that. Same as the hides. Head up this way and go to wherever that is. What's this town? Right there. Let's grab the silver from... It's a stadium. It's a, it's a stadium. Stadium. Uh, 84 for silver ore. Sure. I don't mind if I do. Alright, now over here to these beautiful villages to uh, steal all their money. Who are you? Oh, that's Rega. She's not, she's not doing so well if she's running with 75 dudes. Or that or she's intentionally running lean, but I don't think so. Let's collect revenues here. That's the mission we have from her, actually. 204 yeah. apiece. So what we can do is give the landlord a small bribe for his men to continue collecting revenues. Um, lovely, which will, means we'll keep getting a little. We paid out a bit to get a bunch more uh, money. So there we go. That one's finished. And we have to go off to this one. I think there's only two for that. Yeah, there's only two villages, unless I was, unless I was reading something weird. Uh, animals, there is uh, chargers here. We'll, what's the price on the chargers? 600. Okay, and uh, Centurion... Charger. Take a bit of cheese and some milk as well. 3900 bucks again and collect more revenues. Then we go back and talk to her again. Fast mode, please. Oh, this one's got only 86 bucks a piece. Tell them to be careful and touch nothing in the house where anyone has been sick. Uh, sure. Never saw that response before. Not a lot to be had there, but that's fine. We can actually just go right to the city for this. We don't even have to find track her down. So well, there we go. Oh, you don't have enough dinar. How? What? What? Did we just get what? How did we just lose all of the money that we were looting? What did I miss? How did I... How the heck did I just lose all my money? <laughs> How the heck did I just lose all my money? Um... I don't know. Oh, because we actually were paying out... Paying out a bunch for the village, or for the supplies there. And then we were almost out of money. Oh, I bought those... Horses foolishly. Okay, well, we have to trade off some junk, like the hides. Be good. Silver ore is not a good price. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get rid of those horses then. Hey, bother. Uh, 2,000 bucks, sure. Turn in the revenue. 1,600 left to work with. And there is a tournament here, so let's see if we can make back some of that money. A full. Helm over laced coif. Wow. Wow. That'd be great for a rider. Ira is here in town and our brother Norgard. All right, let's see if we can make some money off of this. Try to spink spear past him. There 
Aragon and fair hair. Not the same Aragon. Oh, that didn't work. Is this a proper lance? I think it is. It is. Ooh. I turned, however. Lost too much momentum for that to work. That's a dude just crumpled. Ow! Ooh! Good thing we're better armored than that dude. Nice. Take him down, boys. Take him down. Beat him. Yeah. There we go. Aw. That's okay, Quirky. Yep. It's on there live for later, so. All right. We have, uh, well, it doesn't matter who we have to fight here. It's just none of them are particularly overpowered. I'll try not to make any major Imperial decisions without you there, Brookie. Uh, I'm not sure at this point when I'm going to be streaming next, but wouldn't be surprised if I did some more maybe later in the evenings, tomorrow. Kind of this time. There we go. That shield bash does come in handy, just barely, but it comes in handy. Uh, a bet on the next fight. And we'll be fighting Era in the end or a legionary. Oh, he got his shield up. shoulder plates. They're freaking amazing. Ooh, that was the wrong button. Milady. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> it's just abusive. This is not appropriate. Especially not the kicking part. Oh, right in the face, too. Wanna go on a date? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that big old helm. It's a nice one. Let's see what uh, what it's actually like for relative... Oh my gosh, it's 45. That's really good. I don't like it for myself. Because it's ugly. It's terrible. And uh, it messes with my beard. That would be terrible indeed. We could give it to our brother. We definitely recognize his silly head afterwards. Uh, okay, let's give it to the brother. Oh my gosh, he looked dumb, dude. That's all right. Okay. Dumb is better than dead. Um, so, unlock that. Uh, da, 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 boop. Yeah, good. All right, that was a nice, nice piece. Very nice piece. Again, fair hair. We uh, knocked you out pretty hard there, and uh, you don't have any skills other than just being a grunt. Just being a, a, a smash, a head smasher, so. Not a lot of money here either. We'll have to find a place to sell off that silver ore. Now, the question is, who do we merc for now? So, this is Hosen Falk. See the red uh, thing? That is um, that they are in a rebellion. They're actively a rebellion, and I think that is... Uh, who are they rebelling against? The Kazate, I think. So they'll whoever owns this will, if they survive long enough without getting taken out, they may offer their services and join with their fortress included into another kingdom. If we time it when one of those happens and we're nearing Clan Tier Four, or we are Clan Tier Four but haven't gotten a settlement yet, we can finish these form an empire by getting something like that. Only cities do that, so. Uh, you don't get castles and royal troops with it, but it's a phenomenal 
advantage if you can nail one of those. I want to see about who we would should fight for next. We have uh, Asarai down here. We could also go over this way. We could actually fight the Husen Falk troops. Even just the, the groups that we got. We could actually declare war on them as a clan. That'd be a thing that is possible. We have to stop. Uh, we have to meet up with a... Oh my goodness. We are... 570 something a day we're losing. Arsh. Um, that's not bad there. There's a trade still going up. Leadership for morale. Uh, charm. Let's put another point in charm to keep that boosting. Uh, this is not a good situation financially to be in. A very, very bad situation financially to be in. We have some prisoners we can, uh, either recruit or... Like, I can recruit that guy and, uh, he's definitely suitable to bring in here. He's also doesn't cost us anything to recruit him. Um, so that's the thing. Oh, did I just go over my force limit? No, it is 99. I thought so. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna end to you, this. Uh, uh, end my contract with the SRI, please. Good. Now, we could... Oh, I, I wonder if I could put... No, I guess they're not a kingdom. We could go see what's going on here. Maybe we get some cash out of fighting these guys, these rebels. It's probably going to be sieged down pretty quick. An interesting situation over here. Who's in here? There's a tournament even to be had right now. Okay, there's the silver price. Is uh well, some of the silver price is good. Um. Wait. Those are yeah. Those are not good prices. It's like, why is it not telling me those are good prices? Because those are really high. But that's not for that stuff. Not high for that price or those items. All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, we might as well do an arena since we're here. Knights fall. That's a mace, I believe. That's a cheap mace. So we don't have. Um. We got the lords of the village of the city here. The rebel lords here. Hey, yellow team. Not on me. Ow. Jeez, dudes. Can you guys fight each other, please? Instead of every ow, instead of everybody fighting me. Oh boy. Ah! Wrong, ow! Wrong button! <laughs> I went into the wrong mode there. I'm trying to get make my way to a horse. There's so many dudes around here. Slow down, horse! Speed up, horse! Oh, that's the little tiny axe on here. Oh, it's terrible. I need a ranged, I need a spear of some sort. Jeepers. It's just a mess here. At least there's still three of us up on our team. But yellow is the primary target, eh? That should be my focus. Knocking this guy out. There you go. That's one team down. Blue is actually most important to knock out now. Ow! That hit me, not you. Yeah, it's a hit. It's not much of a hit.
No, there goes my shield. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> this is bad news indeed. There you go. That guy's down. Come on. Oh my goodness. You're chasing me, are ya? Let me dance around my friends and... Oh, oh I didn't have a shield to block with. I threw up my shield. <laughs> didn't do much. Take out the blue guy, man. If blue drops first... No, if blue drops first, then we're still in. I don't remember who I was on. Was I on red team? I was on green team, wasn't I? Yeah, I was on green team. Don't get yourself dead, bro. Blue or red falls before you. We're good. Ah, get out of there, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dismounted. Not dead. No, don't die. Oh, my God. Nerves. Yes, get back on a horse, man. Ride, ride, brother. Oh, man. Oh, now we get out of there. I'm yelling at him like he can, t like he can hear me. Better view from back here. Can't tell what condition he's in. Doesn't he? Doesn't seem particularly bloodied. That guy is quick. Whoever's on that blue mount is, uh, Guzid, is very fast. Get him, brother! Yes. Oh, interrupted. Get behind you, man! Oh, yes, yes. That's one down. I don't care which one of them falls. Just not you, Norgad. Noggy Nog. Take him, Nog. Take him. Oh, just a little hit. Oh, don't get yourself stuck in the hook. Yes, hit the red. Hit the red. Hit the red. Hit the red. Yes, both of you. Team up on the red guy. Or the, preferably the blue guy, but... I'm okay with you. F f yes, just poke him in the back of the head. Get him. Oh, no. His horse. Oh. Well, at least we made it through. He's pretty darn well armored, dude. Too. He's better armored than my brother. Turn around, man. Turn around! Oof. He's also got major whiplash now, but that's not an issue. Apparently that's not a thing. Why are you running into a wall? Oh! Dismounted, but not out. Oh, he's angry now. I don't know. I wish it showed their health when you zoomed to... Oh, he's... Never mind. He's just got another horse. Shield up, brother. No, don't try to poke him at some angle that would be something I would do. This is a very long battle for... Oh, boy. I don't know who hit what there. Oh, man. Big charge right down the middle. Oh, no. Dismounted again. And off to another horse. A wounded horse. No, not backwards. Oh, you fool. What was that? We've shown them! <laughs> he just, I'm, he's coming up behind me. I better turn my back to him. Ugh. All right. Well, we made it through thanks to our brother. Uh, why are you running as an archer? That's weird. They don't normally do that. Bye. Nope, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, team. Oh, excellent. Oh, and wait, what? Sid, that's the other guy that wasn't dead. He <laughs> just added 10 feet apart. All right, he's out. We fight the archer and then our brother in the finale. The finale. Yeah, go ahead and throw your spears, dude. Yeah, do it up. I'm better, I'm better off standing where I'm at when you throw it than... Ah. 
There we go. And it's an archer, so he must have some ability to throw weapons, but he didn't do protect particularly great with it. <clears throat> Expected 945. Is that plus? Yeah, 280, whatever, whatever that's saying. Yeah, the total is how much we've got. We literally only have 208. We don't have enough to make two more bets. If we lose this to, uh, to the, oh, our brother lost to the horse archer, really? If he keeps hurling rock uh, pokies at me like that. Nice. Ha <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, 945 total. We made 600, so we only made 345 profits out of that, but that hammer will at least be worth a few. Ah, 800 bucks. It's not nothing. That gets us another day. So, here's the problem. I don't think we can afford to fight these guys. Uh, since they're... I mean, their armies aren't great. Right? Their armies won't be good at all. They're almost all weak sauce, but maybe we fight them and get some cash from it? Or do we go join a faction? Hmm. Two more, uh, two more visits to somebody in the Noretzi's Folly. We could get rid of these guys. Or we could bring them on. A team. I think we'll keep them as prisoners right now. Ah, like, do we fight the Husen Folk rebels? <clears throat> um, war with the rebels short victorious war or actually it's, there's no way we can win it so fight the rebels our first poll yes or no there we go that's the first yes or no poll we've done in a long time so we can fight those guys and what will happen is we'll be at war with their faction all of them. So any other group that pulls out will be will be fighting. You can fight their caravans, I suppose. But more importantly, when um, if we were to fight those guys, you just got to pop a vote there. There's only a few people, so if you want to let it, let me know. <clears throat> Pardon me. If we fight them, what happens is uh, it'll be like like a war footing with them, but it's just that and those two villages. If they then survive long enough to join another faction, uh, we can see actually what the Hussin folk rebels are. Uh, what would they be under? No, not minor. Hussin folk. Hussein Falk Rebels. <clears throat> so, Sadi, uh, Firim, and Guzid, and Lath. So they can have four groups. They're at war with the Southern Empire. That's who they rebelled from. So if they survive long enough and the Southern Empire doesn't come and smush them, which she probably will, <clears throat> um, then they can join someone else. If they join someone else, the war with them is gone because their faction disappears. But at the moment, I don't think the Southern Empire is at war with anybody. Oh, they are. Northern Empire, Hidden Hand, Ember, Flames, those are just fac uh, minor factions and Hosen Falk Rebels. So we might be able to get some fighting done here. Hmm. Okay. We'll do it. No responses? Okay. I think what we'll do then is, uh, what do you got? Uh, bandit base. Okay, we can do that. <clears throat> that should be a relatively easy quest, and we'll wait. We'll get uh, some time to decide if these guys ride out for any reason. Then we can fight them. You take these dudes out. <clears throat> Uh, two squares, the Galat. Yes, we don't need to take the peasants with us. OK. 
care about the step bandits. So those are just villagers, eh? Yeah. We'd actually have to have some of the lords there leave the town. Or they'd have to leave the city and come out to fight. So that would be essential in order for that to work. The champions I don't want to take with us. Uh, or the cons guards. Um, let's take... Um, take the range units. We'll take the Kashig. We'll take the Kankli. Take the Torguds, and we'll take our friends. And then, I guess... Hans guards aren't of much use for that, though. There's nobody else that has range except for these guys, so we'll bring them in. We just want ranged troops only for this. Uh, fire at will, and I'm going to not fire, because... I forgot, and I didn't bring a weapon. The works. I could have brought a bow, I suppose. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, are you following me? Yeah. You weren't following me. Excellent. Shh, guys, quiet. Quirky sleeping. Let's go in here. I don't think there's any enemies over here. I think it is in this spot here. We got half of them downed already. Uh, the sword and board works well for these, uh, but I, I prefer to have sword and board and a bow. Especially considering we can use a decent bow to train a few bow skills in the meantime, so in case I want to use it later. It's very, very essential for sieges. Well, not essential, but it's it's quite effective at siege work. It's half of them. The dripping sounds in the cave, it's beautiful. <laughs> Hey, you. Die, you pig! No! Don't kill them, the dudes, near stairwells. They tend to get confused on stairs. And yeah, these stairs aren't properly built. So the guys can, like, fall weirdly and then kill your units automatically. It's, it's very bad. Very automagical deaths. It's bad for the health. We went, I think we came from that way. But. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I need my, uh, I need my athletic skill up. Let's just jump all day long, okay? Die! No, you die. There's the last one. Where's your boss? He's got lots of friends. And he's got a glaive. They have swords. Well, <clears throat> training time. You, you've got quite a sweat through. Nicely done, boys. Well done. <clears throat> no loss. I was concerned at that last little skirmish that it might hurt them. Well, they got it. A uh, bit of loot. Not a lot. I'm going to not upgrade these guys because it's just costing too much. And I keep doing it. And I keep forgetting not to do it. Our army is now costing us 580-something dollars a piece. Another war mount. That's nice. Right, we can't afford to give anything for loots for stuff. Go back and complete that. Well, that is completed quest. Yeah, if they don't come out, there's no way to fight them, so. Um. Yeah. So off those. Alright, well, out of here then. We're not going to be able to sit around and do much with them. The. We could fight with the Southern Empire. We could vassal. Or, um. 
Merc with the Southern Empire. Let's have a look at who's at war. And then find a kingdom to Merc with. The Asari are not at war with anybody. The Batanians are at war with the Western Empire. Okay, maybe we fight with the Western Empire against the Batanians, and then we can make friends with the Batanians. We haven't done any of the friend making with the Batanians yet. <clears throat> uh, Vlandia, you're at war with Sturgia. Also a good option. Surge is a war with just Vladia. Seems reasonable. Northern Empire and the Rebels. Mm. 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 I don't know. It's too, way too early skill... Uh, um, way too early to get fighting for real against uh, trying to like claim a, a castle that's way too soon <clears throat> although I mean if we do that would be interesting that'd be a real mess cow thief with a bit of stewardship and other blast skills all right I hate resorting to the arenas but we need them we need the money budget's thin when war is not happening so we should definitely get out to joining another one Didn't expect that. Hey, brother, why are you coming for me, man? Wow, you just got in the wrong place at the wrong time, bro. Oh, so did you. Ooh, she's tiny. Ow. Ow, the shield damage is real, man. Can I have a mount, please? Stay away from me. Stay away from me. There you go. I am mounted. Mounted death. 46 damage delivered. Nice. Zeno is on our side. He's actually quite good, if I remember correctly. Oh, that was a total whiff. Never mind. You got this, boys. All right, let's bet some more. We're not. We're not. Uh, not gonna get a lot out of it, but about fifty percent of what we bet, we get back. So. Definitely somebody we wanted down. So it's that. Uh oh. Oh no. I can't commit. I gotta commit somewhere. Oh, they definitely owned me there. Okay, we, we made it through the first half of the battle, so we get to continue. We're the only the last two groups when there's four groups. Last two groups going. You're a better archer than me, brother. I will freely admit that. Your friend is a dumb dumb. Oh yeah. Yeah, trying to shoot. Oh, you really got him for me, buddy. He did. He likes to beat me up. Big brothers, they're like that. <clears throat> Actually, I can't tell in this context if he's the big brother or not. I didn't check the, the ages. This dude is tough. What are you? You're a uh, Karakajit El Elder. So he's the he's a pure five though. No surprise that, that was a tough dude. 
bit of renown and a new piece of armor. Probably not for us, but uh, possibly for sale because we're that broke. Uh, let's lock that $6,800 piece of gear down. Sell off that loot. That and that. I suppose I can sell this this uh, bow if we need it. The tabard would also be nice to sell, but um, that drops one leg, one armor, and adds seven to our body armor. Okay, I like it. Very very noble. Very very impressive outfit. Uh, just pass down the uh, the gear, you know. Uh, is it better? Yeah, it is better. We'll lock that down for some future friend. There we go. Although it's got a lion on it for some bizarre reason. Not what I called for. That's okay. Alright. Anything uh, this side of things that we can get rid of that and that. Uh, that and that. Silver ore at 120. Nice. Some profits there. Ah, there's trade 50. Excellent. So this one is going to give us Caravan Master, carry capacity for your party, and uh, items are marked, so items are marked in both, but 50% barter for pa safe passage will do carry capacity. That's pretty fantastic. What uh, kind of quests? Quests, quests, quests. Maybe we get some stuff out of these. Um, needs help with brigands. That's too expensive to sit around for, dude. I don't have an army that can afford to just be... Uh, Hanging out for little village quests. Bandit base. Not awesome. Alright, so do we join one of the... Do we fight for one of the empires? We could, we could uh, fight for one of the empires, or we could go fight against or with the Batanians or Vlandians. Vlandians are fighting the Sturgeons. Maybe that would be a good choice. Uh, Sturgeons all have heavily armored dudes, though. They're very, very heavily armored. Oh, man. I don't know. It's just pouring rain in sheets. Weird. Uh, I mean, we're here. We might as well. Might as well clean them out. Point eight renown. Bit of morale. Some prisoners. Some crap loot. Head up to Poros. Uh, just two more people to find for the quest, so maybe that's good. Um, the, that quest would be useful, for sure. You got a quest for me here, speaking of which. I don't know if we'll take it. Canaros. Uh, train troops, cannot do. We have a full contingent, thank you, sir. Another tourney and another quest with uh, needs recruits. Wind's Fury! Hello! Wind's Fury's a nice blade. Uh, let's see. This is our fight. We'll go ahead and bet. We got 6,800 back, uh, bucks back in uh, the coffers. Uh, hi. Thank you. Nice. Da -da 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 Bam! <laughs> That's how we start fights these days. That's how the kid, cool kids do it. They taunt ya. Oh, that was a no block. I'm, I'm being a goofball. Should not do that. Uh, next. Hold on, friend, hold on. Give me that shield. Just got out of the way in time for that. Hey, brother! Ow. Excuse me, that was my face you just rode over. Da 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 da. Archer extraordinaire. That is some serious. Oh, I just hit her. Holy crap! Look how far big the corsairs are. Cursor. Um. The cursor. The 
Yeah, crosshairs, that's the word I'm looking for. And I managed to hit her. That was pure blind stupid luck. That would have actually timed decently. The accuracy is just trash. There we go. He rode into that one. I couldn't have missed almost by that point. <laughs> Although missing would have probably cost me my life. Yeah, it's a nice blade. Only making 15 bucks a round now. For the bets. That's not good. Arr, oh, hey, this is him himself. And shot the horse in the nose. Uh, no, no, I didn't shoot the, the last one. I didn't shoot the horse in the nose. That last one, I shot her in the face or in the torso somewhere. Not that it matters. It worked. Oh, dude, you start a fight with your shield up, don't you? Generally speaking, you are a legionnaire. You should know this. Kind of like the the leftovers of the great uh, infantry formations. But formed and controlled the Empire back in the day. Ow, stop it. There we go. Dude's got some serious armor. Alright, I need to uh, stand up here. Get my less comfortable. Oh, sesame. There we go. Standing desk, I, I just needed to get up up on my feet. Okay, so loot off that was the blade. Uh, let's actually do this first. Now, Wind's Fury. Okay, so that is a uh, $2,000 blade, but it's shorter than mine. Got a bit better cut damage, a bit better, and it's not really that much better. Uh, it is... Not even that much better than my brother's. So he's in the range there. That one's a lot more damage and only one less uh, one less uh, reach. I guess range is the wrong word, but reach. You guys can go. Uh, we don't have room for... Oh, we do have room for one more. Uh, let's bring on one of those. One more of those knights. Those super expensive 17 buck a piece knights. Yikes. Every day. 17 bucks just to keep you going. Um, okay. Who's fighting what? Lageta, your Western Empire, who is fighting whom? I just checked this. I should know. They're fighting the Batanians. Okay, so give me a second. Give us some thought and uh, let me know what you think about who we should fight. I'll be 40 seconds. And then we're back. All right, let's head over this way and see what we can get into for trouble. We have 7,300 bucks at $802 a day cost. We need to be getting like three or four influence a day. 
to pay for things. Another tournament. We got to get our um, clan tier up. We have 70, 69 more points to go. Um, okay, hold on. Maybe some sell items here. Silver. Sure. I think we got those like crazy cheap. Not doing the tournament. Getting sick of those those tournaments. <laughs> I'm getting sick of it, so you guys gotta be getting sick of it by now, right? At least I get to sma do the smashing and the grabbing. Legetta is... Wait a second. Where are the... Hmm. Yes, it's fine. Normal. Uh, so the Sturgeons. Do we fight the Batanians or do we fight the Sturgeons? Uh, Couriers arrived with something. Bearing a message from Ragenvad. Hmm. Ragenvad wants us to join his, uh, his side. Join those tourneys, but no. No, not not grinding the tournaments. Not a lot of uh, advantage for doing that. It's actually quite poor uh, gains off of that. So if we uh, fight against... This is the Batanian. Okay. So we could join the Batanians fighting these guys. That would be okay. Should we fight on the side of the Batanians or against them? Uh, I mean, this as a vassal, as a, not as a vassal, as a uh, mercenary. Uh, trainer, personal, plus two hit points. Really? That's it? Uh, as a party member, plus five XP to melee troops in your party after every battle. That's five percent more XP. Or duelist, personal, 20% damage while wielding one-handed weapon without a shield. Or uh, double the amount of renown gain from tournaments. What? That would get us nine per? Oh. The melee troops in your party after. In your party after everybody. Oh my goodness. What side is your mama on? Zip it. <clears throat> it won't be on your side if you keep talking, mama. Um, This is tough because... The duelist would get us an extra three, probably not six. We'd probably double before the bonus. So each tournament would be nine renown that we win. That could get us much quicker. Uh, but then the 5% XP for melee troops in your party. So that's melee troops, that's lancers. Um... Anybody that doesn't start out as an art, well, an archer or horse archer, so lancers and infantry, gain more experience. No, I think we'll do the duelist. And I'm not interested in the one-handed weapons without shield. It's just a weird and dumb way to fight. Uh, hyper unrealistic. You can do it. It's a, it's a really easy way to do thing to like. It, it, there's a really easy way to do it. You just turn the feature on where all you have to do is. Hold the right mouse button, and he automatically blocks the right place. You just have to time it, and it's not hard to time. So that's that's the way you get the easy, like looking like a superhero. But it, it feels it feels cheat to me. It just for me personally, a lot of people play with it, but it feels cheat to me to, to do that. So that's why I use a shield because I wouldn't be good enough, and I'm terrible with the uh, blocking, especially remembering how to properly muscle memory for blocking the overhands. But if we do double the amount of XP for tournaments then guess who's going to be doing some tournaments uh so this fight is ongoing we could vassal no you're probably busy are you busy would you like to talk hey you will talk so we could uh we could join the service of king kaladag for some uh 195 per renown keep the dinars flowing and i'll keep the blood flowing okay <clears throat> so let's go see if uh, about uh Smacking around some... Like that. Not like that, because that is a lot of baddies. If he attacks there, however... What does our faction have there? A lot of infantry, actually. Roadrunners, Falksmen. 
And he has what? 45 infantry, 18 in trained infantry. Uh, that's too big of a group for me to waste time with. Yeah, that's not what I'm here for. Tractory Castle. Hmm. Hold on. Or maybe we attack him after he's gotten bloodied, but... Whoa, what happened? Well, I went away. You got friends that came, I see. <laughs> All right. I, I walked away and some friends came by. That seems weird, but okay. <clears throat> so he got his butt whooped. They are just pillaging like mad. They're just ripping every city apart, or every spot apart. There is Jastian. That's too big of a battle for me to mess with. So our faction there has a lot of infantry. Their groups have also a lot of infantry, but way too many cav and ranged for me to count that as a smart fight. Let me see if the, if joining, walking up here changes the fa factor. It does not. They, no, 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 no. They're still going to count that as a smart battle? Okay, well. Oh, oh, he broke off, did you? Oh, they probably went into... Did he hide in the castle? He might have. Bribed his way in to hide. Scene. Yeah, see, these are the fights I do not want to get into. His big old beat fests here. Now you, on the other hand, have a definite potential for a target as a target. Chasing scenes party. Fifty-three of you are recruits. No. All right. Come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. Uh, it is uh, Ramble Bumbleberg. That's it. I almost forgot. Uh, forgot which almost forgot which series I was playing. Uh, let's beat this guy senseless. Okay, so we definitely outgun him in the score, but we gotta be gotta be a bit smarter this time around. So we don't uh, still a little uh, still a little starstruck from the last one. All right, uh, third in skein, fourth in loose, second in loose, first in line. Infantry here, archers here. Move out! Get moving! No, archers here, please. Onward. What the heck? Archers Forward. here, please. Forward! What? What is going wrong? Bow. We can't place it. Move! <laughs> wow! That's not supposed to work that way. Onward, Infantry here. Get moving! Archers here. Move out! They won't separate. They're supposed to go in a line. All right, whatever. Horses. Um, doesn't matter that much. I'm going to have you guys up on the hill. Forward. And Throat. horse archers over here, please. Onwards. 200 yards. We're going to take our time here and use them as a... Uh, use them as regular archers, I think. Well, I'm concerned with his position there. Let's get the horse archers over here, hear then. Hear me! Forward! Raiders, hear me! Move out! Raiders, move on the hill. Move. We have like all mounted units, so can't let ourselves get into a getting speared for the fest here. Horsemen, don't with me! They're moving pretty hefty fast about out there for being on foot. I'm not gaining any speed on any distance on them. There, yeah, looks like they're finding a stop spot. They are just booking it in behind there. The heck, dudes? What the blazes are they doing? What's going on over there? Me. All right. Hear 
me! Move out! <laughs> First one back over there, please. Troops! Onwards! Footmen! Forward! Move! Raiders! Hear me! Attack! Get that group, please. Ah, that's a tree. That's another tree. Somebody slow him down, please. We have trees on our side. That might work. Thank you. Squires, squares. Why are my squares getting shot? What are my squares doing en engaging the melee? That was not what you were told to do. What the scratch was that? Oh, they were chasing off their. Expensive. Fighting those Manavlitons, they are really good at countering infantry when they're cavalry when they're in a nice unbroken circle. Oof. We gotta really break them up with the archers. We only lost two. Two squares, so that's much better than it looked like to me. Alright. Ready to go, Justin. The relations are better than the than the uh, loops, so let's get those guys on horse, proper equipment, those guys upgraded, those guys upgraded, and those guys upgraded. We have $4,600. Our daily is uh, $871, but with 23 influence we pulled out from that. Came out of that with 23 influence, giving us an income of 92. We're actually making money. We have three we can recruit, which is a U. And you and you. Excellent. Okay. Cataphracts. Elite cataphracts. And that's it. Locked in. Round kettle helm. It's ugly, so I'll pass it on to the brother. No, I'll pass it on to somebody else. Like you. There you go. Um better upgrade for your weapon. Uh actually. That's Wind Fury, isn't it? We'll give you that one. Better mittens. Better boots. Better helm. Actually, there is also a better helm over here, which is even better, better. Better, better, better. Legendary button leather bracers. Wow. Yeah, bracers, we got like 20 is our, is our lowest. All right. That ain't nice. Let's go highest value when we're doing this, actually. It's better. Wait, that. Not bad. Not bad at all. A bit of loots. 
be able to sell off a lot of stuff there. Lageta. Hi, we do not want to run into you. Or do we? 45 recruits, 32 infantry, some cell swords, like no manavliotons. Uh, we kind of do want to get at you. Especially if we can bring a friend. Yep. There we go. I make command! Warrior Sergeant! You are right. Sergeants, do your thing. Actually. <clears throat> Riders follow me for the moment. Because otherwise the enemy, this way the the enemy, the our ally can do the uh, the damaging himself first. Making the horse really work it. They're all infantry units here. Missed. Uh, ow! I turned around. They're all still following me. All right, everybody do the fight. Go, go smash some baddies, okay? That was a very dead horse. I'm sorry, dead horse. Wounded square, dead gallant. Wounded, 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 wounded. What the heck are you guys doing? Are you kidding me? You're all standing there getting yourself slaughtered again. By like scrubs and peasants. Having to run into this melee for no bloody reason. We, sh we can't keep doing these fights with no, uh, no infantry support. This is not working well. The farmers are killing us. Look at this. What the heck, guys? This is just absolute trash. Okay, everybody get out of there. Stop suiciding. Good lord. They just go in and stand there and thump back and forth from three feet away instead of actually charging the enemy. You're like... 40 of you with heavy armor and lances. What are you doing sitting there and trying to kick them with your spurs? What the heck? I have like almost all of my troops Run. gone. Get Good moving. lord. We have 30 something troops left. That's it. Soldiers, stick to me. That's absurd. charge through them this time is that better does that make more sense to you guys no no and you're gonna run into me <clears throat> AI fun the cell swords are not not weak that's for sure see look that's what happens when you charge through you use your horses you don't stand there and become sweet swiftly uh, dying cannon fodder like a bunch of idiots Another dead knight. Yeah, this is just really wasteful because the way they, the way the AI fights these battles, when you tell them to for the captains to do their thing, obviously this is the way to charge with a horse that are heavy horse that are heavily outnumbering your enemy. You don't sit there and obviously don't sit there and just keep dancing with them where their spears and everything else gets to do whatever they want. Come on. Be better, Tail Worlds. 
You got half of a great game, man. Use it. There's McCree. So that's how we take care of the infantry from now on, because that was just dumb. Crew, follow your sergeants. You should be able to clean up without dying too many times, right? Ridiculous! 19 dead! Squares, knights, good luck. They're just... Wow. <laughs> you couldn't be worse at making that AI function and still have them, like, actually know how to move from point A to point B. That was absolute trash, so clearly we never use the knights like that again, because, uh, you know, not, not a real. Not real at all. That's just stupid. I am salty as can be about that. Very wasteful. A very painful lesson. Stop trusting the AI in this game. Ever. 28 prisoners. All decent sized ones. Might as well upgrade these guys because, you know, we have so many fewer of their friends. Um, <clears throat> alright. If we have a... Uh, a new group to join. And ne next units to add in. I think it would be... Um... You're going to get the fuzzy bear outfit. I like it. Uh, I think it would be a good choice to have uh, more of the Fian champions. Uh, since they're... Wait, a balance fine steel. Uh, that's pretty good. A little less... At, you know, it's better at cutting. It's less handling. Oh, that is, that is my new weapon right there. Um... Yeah, I think since they're able, they would be able to fire into those groups and wreck them up pretty good. Uh, small infantry that aren't able to ball up like that would be. Oh, I just left this stuff for recruits, or for uh, XP. That was failed. Uh, Kaladuk the Britannian grants Legata to Branak. Um, cool. Recruit? No, not recruit. Um, we have. 19 dead to replace. So let's go up to Batan... Did I just declare war on the Batanians? No, I'm working with the Batanians. Right. Good, good, good. <laughs> I thought, thought for a second that I did the thing. Where I get myself trying to recruit from everybody but the ones that are on my side. That can be locked. That can be locked. Unlock. Unlock. Clean up our giant piles of loot here, which isn't very giant. And that one. 236 helms. Really? Wait, what? No, I've got the 36. That's a 19. All right. Unload. 27,000. So, so 4,000 in hand. Um, The heavy saber. I don't know if anybody else would need that, but... Better cut damage by far for that one, so that's what we'll do. And then you can offload the rest of that. But we do need more war horses. They have no war horses at a reasonable price, that's for sure. Oh, and we are real low on the food. Uh, olives. Uh, cheese, we'll take a few. Oops, a few butter. A few more beer. Just a little bit to get our dudes equipped. Date fruit. Oh. It'll disappear quick, but... Uh, and then do you guys have any decent priced pigs? No. Couple cattle. Go ahead and butcher those. Good. And is the hide worth much here? Eh, 33. It's never worth a great deal, but... Alright, prisoners we don't need. Uh, well, we'll get rid of those. We'll drop those. 
those, those, those. Do, 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 do. Skolda Brota. Ah, they're great. Those guys are beasts. But we're not keeping them for... We're not keeping them for our, our group here. We're going to head up to Batanian lands. And recruit for some, from some Batanian uh, noble spots. That is not Batanian, right? That's Imperial, it is. Wow, we have 45 active units right now. Wait, why? What? 36 wounded still. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go. And get... Fill the rest with... Um... Archers. We'll get ourselves a proper... Bit of range. We won't need infantry for this next phase. But a batch of ranged units like this will do nice. Too few. Okay. And then... Oh, what do we got? Oh, look at that. Charm 7. We're almost at 8. Wow. Uh, avoid critical failure chance or chance of double persuasion. Uh, and the other one's governor. Oh, no. 5% uh, daily chance to increase your relation with the random lord and notable with negative relations when you enter a settlement. Oh, uh, yeah. When you what? When you're in a settlement. Okay. I'll do that one. The riding. There's only one here. Uh, party leader, 10% starting morale when you join an ongoing battle of allies. So relief force. That's cool. We, we like to do that. Stuart 125. Just hit it now. Discard weapons. Donate. Uh, increase XP. Good. Another point. So we're going to get charm. Keep boosting the charm to get that growing. Character's doing quite well with his development. Uh, we have all the riders now. Or all the um, archers now. Up there, please. We got them all in uh, a suitable order. That gets us 22 ranged units. Those guys, all 22 of those together, will seriously wreck uh those lines of infantry so we can have our horse archers backing them up and then the infantry just stand or the archers just stand there and pelt them and uh non unstopping arrow flail at them and that'll be very suitable <clears throat> let's go here this is perfect perfect 30 of these guys uh so horses um, I don't care Michael you, Warrior! I don't care, but don't Bonesy put up the bows. You guys stand right here. Forward. You guy, stand right here. That's only one left. That's awesome. Uh, he could probably join... Oops, he could probably uh, join the... Oh, I can't change that group, eh? One and two has to be infantry? Weird. Uh, oh no, I, I guess I have to have another archer unit in order to do that. And then I could switch... Oh, I can't, yeah, switch infantry and archers. Uh, delete that one and drop that one down to zero. So at least the infantry will be with the archers. Uh, all right, now archers. Hear me! You're gonna do this. These are looters, so they're gonna come to you. We're gonna line up okay. here and we're gonna Search get a loose formation. And make sure Soldier, release those down. they don't shoot anybody back there. All right, we'll let them come to me. Nice and even, and let the archers eat them apart. Fortunately, I don't have a bow. This is when I this is when I practice my bow skills, you know? <laughs> it's better when you do. Alright, let's fire, guys. Come on. Where's the enemy? Hurry up, looters. We're trying to knock you unconscious here. I kind of like the green scorpion. It's kind of cool. It's not black. There we go. Look at all that XP. Oh, that was a headshot. Nice. Oh, the carnage is beautiful. Don't throw that rock at me. Don't throw that rock at me. You threw the rock at me. You hit me. You're... Okay. Never mind. Good, look at all those trainees. 12 of them just trained. And a warrior. There you go. So 12 of the 16 youths are already ready to upgrade. Perfect. 
that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. All right. Find more of those. Not that. Not ones. More than ones. Aaron's party. Six hundred dudes. We could join that castle fight, but then my dudes would run around and get dead. Ah, you know what? Um, all I've got for weapons is a lance. I don't even have a proper two-hander. And I wonder if maybe we should go... You know what? I'd love to get a glaive. Let's see about see about hunting down a glaive. I could scoot down to... No, I can't scoot to Batanian lands. That's too far. There's a long way all the way through the, land, the enemy territory. Baron Castle's been taken. Ah, uh, yep. Good thing we're faster than you, man. Nobody in Garantor Castle gonna track me down here, I hope. If I get caught, I'm dead. Very, very dead. That caravan is totally playing uh, go between for me. We got 10k. We got enough to do a bit of a run. Uh, I'm gonna say we find a few looters, do a few tournaments on the way. And uh, then head over to Sturgeon, or yeah, Cusate Land and try to get ourselves a glaive because this no glaive thing is really bugging me. Uh, the bamboo axe. That's cool looking, but not. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's $17,000, but that's a huge weapon. Wow. That's some serious cut damage. Um, yes. Mamlukian Lance. Oh my. Much better. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. I'm okay with a little splurge. Little splurge. What I should do is find a bow as well that I can actually use in case I go into like one of those spaces where I want to use a bow. And I, I seriously have no skills with a bow. None whatsoever. Apparently not. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I get trash skills with a javelin, too. I'd like to get a the javelin replaced with a um, a glaive. That's really the go-to. Okay, I'm not going to be recruiting a bunch here. But maybe... Um, that's a decent price on fruit, but it's not great. Get a few of them. Olives, we have lots. Oil at 55. That is quite nice. We'll grab a bunch of that. Then we'll do the tournament in the morning. Uh, tournaments are either worth 9 or 12 renown now. So, uh, oh. Black Heart. Oh, that'll replace my glaive. Or my, uh, jeepers. We have to win this. All right. Now the stakes are high. And my dudes are outrunning me to a 4v1. Apparently they just want to ignore me entirely. That was weird. And that, uh, and I hate those fights with the, the small axe. It's terrible. Especially when this is the thing that's there. A two-hander would have taken each of them out with one swing if, if I had the skill for it. We need to get rid of the red guy first in this fight. So that's not what I want to do. I want to go straight at the red guy. Adrama is down. He's actually quite a powerful lord. Alright, so Adram's out and Caban is not in this one. Caban is the final contestant. Da, 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 da. 
Come on, I'm standing still. There you go. Certainly not a fast moving projectile. Oh, really? Wow. There we go. <clears throat> All right. All bets on this one. 255 winnings, but that axe is the beast. You got some you got some sticks in your in your way, bud. Look at his armor, man. There we go. Kabam, kabam. Yeah. Nine. Okay, nine renown. I thought it wouldn't double the whole thing, but still. Nine renown for a tournament plus black heart and 255 dinars. Look at this beast. I've seen this before. I've used this before. Swing damage of 123. As opposed to my swing damage of my blade, which is my one-hander, uh, of 81. Like it's huge. That's so good. Goodbye, Daryl. I'll keep the javelins here locked down in case I need them for, like, a, a whatever, a run around in the house uh, in one of the places, buildings. Uh, this, I think we checked, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. Wow, what a great find. What a great find. Uh, heading off towards... The Zate land to see if we can... Well, actually, I guess we don't need to... Yeah, no, I do want to do a glaive. So I'm going to run through the cities in Kazate land. We have 7,500 bucks. Um, we have 14 influence, so it's only going to last us another uh, four days of reduced cash. Half half price. Eladog the Britannians granted Varen Ver Ver Castle to the, the guy we saw before. It took it, actually, I think. Uh, check your weapons. Don't, like, check them at the door. I mean, like, actually look through the weapons here. I need a glaive, need a glaive, need a glaive. No glaives. I don't know that we're likely to find them down here, but worth checking. Oil price is high. Not that kind of oil, but good. Food oils. Very nice. Oh, there's a... Hold on. There's a tourney here. We gotta do them for nine renown apiece. Uh, we need, like... Uh, one, two, three, four. Four, four battles? No, five battles. And we will have the five uh, tournaments and we'd have it. Um, travel speed and steps and planes. As a party leader, daily chance to increase relations with a notable entering a town or a village. I'll do the village because, uh, those are the ones that give you relations to get the, um, the noble troops. We want those for sure. Drop those looters, please. Um, okay, tournament. Let's do this. A bamboo axe. Not a great weapon. Very much not a great weapon. Um, I'm not going to bother with the bedding. Wow, dude. Mad skills, bro. Mad skills in that horse. It's pretty bad when you're... When I'm grossly better at, uh player than mm, hi oh hi whoa you're not how far is this how much reach does the thing need this is a, this is like a, a spear that if I pull back it's actually behind me look at this this thing is behind my shield it's so small wow I think I just killed our horse. 
Look at this. It's got like no reach at all. Didn't realize it was that bad. Okay, so I take it back. That guy that was like really, really, really trash. I should definitely have not had a problem. There you go. I should not have complained about him. Oh my god. Oh! Whiffity whiff. Come on, boy. There we go. No gone. You gone. The guy's horse is like doing impossible things. There we go. Wow, that was way rougher than it should have been. Dun 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 dun. Right in the torso. Another one in the torso. Can I have your... No? No? Okay. Hey, look! We both have matching same Z shields. Ow. Mine, yours worked the first swing. Ow! Those are very long swords. Which I appreciate in most contexts. You don't get your max damage when the guy's standing that close, though. Oh, okay. Ugh. One of these, watch, watch. My friend's gonna be like, I got this, and he's gonna run right past the enemy. Nope, they didn't. They did the other way this time. Just, just because I said something about it. They're very repetitive, but I mean, for for nine um, renown, that's pretty good. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a headshot, but no. Nope. That one was probably a headshot. That one was definitely a headshot. <laughs> I love the ragdolls. As he just faces down. All right. Uh, so, that axe is terrible, but what's it worth? 830 bucks. Ugh. Really bad. Uh, good, good, and good. Okay, I do want more ge more uh, food for too long. Let's get a, bu a few things at least, so we're not running actually negative. Like, actually starving. That'd be bad. Uh, some beer to help you not starve. That's important. All right. The tournaments are painful, but uh, maybe we can make our way over here and get a glaive, because I really want a glaive. Like, biggest thing. Kasira has a tournament as well. Mm, okay. Not ideal, but okay. Do you have a glaive? Would you like to do... Uh, that's not... It's a pole sword. It counts. It's $33,000. So, no? Swing damage cut is just trash. That's weird. Okay, so it's not a useful blade. Looked good for a second there. Okay. Bronze skill shoulder guards. All this for a, all this for a silly title. No, nope, you had a horse. 
I don't think I've ever done a tournament of using these. Aha, 99 damage, really. Could have just put, put walked over and bopped him with my fist. Not sure who should, would have gotten more damage there, me, the horse, or the guy. Ran full tilt into the horse, into the wall with it. Oh, look at them all! They all turned my way. Yeah, this way. Excellent. Oops. Hey guys, look what's on my tail. Get him! <laughs> that worked so good. It shouldn't have worked that good. That was just brilliant. Oh man. Team win. <laughs> just run him right through the middle of all that carnage. Thank you. This armor, we can actually take quite a lot of hits. Look at my health. It's not particularly low. Hey, Norgan. That helmet, why did I give that to you, man? Three headshots. Four headshots. I don't know what I'm oh, that's the neck. Yeah, it's it protects the neck too. That thing, I just basically clubbed him until he was unconscious from the the ringing sound in his helm. There we go. Another nine or down. And a shoulder guard. I don't know if that's better than any of the ones we've got right now, but let's uh, check it out. Nine and eight. Uh, I wonder if he should go with that. Arm armor. No, he's mounted. Uh, arm armor's probably pretty solid for him. Nine and eight, and that is better. Good. Oh, it's shiny. Well, that matters. That matters a lot, I'll say. Uh, nine, eight, six, and four. There you go. Unlock that one. Drop it. Okay, another tournament. Nine more renown. How are we? How close are we now? Ooh, getting there. <clears throat> Twenty-eight to go. Come on, give me one of those like super duper free. Is that literally a hideout right next to the... Oh my god, that's not exactly hiding, dude. You're in their backyard. Um... No. Not gonna bother. Really want to leave. Cheese. Butter. Olives. And greens. Nice. All good price stuff. Really, really hard to click on these towns sometimes, I tell you. Flax at nine, I'll take it. Ubiar. Look at this, this is a gorgeous town. That's so cool, tiered. I like it. Uh, weapons, please. Please have a... Hmm, pointed falchion. That's pretty solid. There's a lot of damage. 
a little shorter range than mine, but... <laughs> nope, no glaives. Yeah, well, just, just shopping. Just browsing at the store here. I do like the scorpion. It's pretty awesome. A uh, bunch of Kuzait taken by a bunch of Sturgeons. Big fights there. We'll get into those later. In future streams of this. Caravan ambush. Worth doing. Very worth doing. Uh, our trainees would love it. Uh, do we have... Uh, a joyful, happy little toy for me. Oh. Executioner's axe looks awesome. Uh, the reach is not even as good as the one we got. Oh, yeah. Short-handled birdish. What? No! <laughs> Why a short-handled birdish? Who makes a birdish short-handled? That's entirely against the point of it. Silly. All right, fine. Short-handled birdish. I'll show you a short-handled up your birdish. Um, doop a doop. Fish. Yes, let's get a, a good amount of fish here for uh, future me things. And maybe we take on another a workhorse or two. Just to help offset some of the excessive weight. Come on. Where's your enemies? there let's do this I make a bad I care not what the caravan caravanciers do oh yes uh, everyone pull your all on your own please because this is one of those things all right A little tink like like that's even remotely possible with this thing hurling at you hey you're the first one to survive the accident a real accident it's got some good range reach on it shamam what Oh, his shield is shattered when I hit him. <laughs> the shield breaker. Ow! him down into the ground. Alright. Oh, there is one still. No, I need a faster horse. No, he's dead. Alright, zero losses there. Some renown, some influence, that'll help the cash flow. I forgot about that. We should definitely be hitting like looters and all that jazz. 16 of the highborns ready to go up. Wait for one more round for the others. Vlandian champions. Banner knights. We have 11 banner knights. They're crazy. They're super powerful. Uh, that's not bad. Not a bad blade. 1600 bucks for the pay. I'll take it. Two-hander skill already. Yeah. Um, handling for two-handed or damage to shields with two-handed weapon. We'll go with handling. Uh, it really helps move the move the weapon faster. Uh, Batanians taken prisoner. Well, aren't you glad I wasn't there? I sure am glad I wasn't there. There's those looters that were 
piddling around stupidly before. We've got no quarrel with you. Oh, you do now, bud. You do now. Listen up. And Warriors! archers Move. is the ones you've got to quarrel with now. Arms length apart. Uh, you, and you, and you, and you do nothing. And ranger dudes, archer dudes. Soldiers! You're up front. Forward! Warriors! Right here. Onwards! Slow. Move out! Motion. Booted horse. Get going. Axe grindy skills. It's not very fast, so I gotta use the right. Yep, hitting multiples. It crashes through. That's lovely. I have nothing to kill that guy with. Shoot him, archers. Thank you. Nice. Killed six in like five swings. Seven points is training in the two-hander. She's easy to train with that beast. The instructions are very simple. Swing hard and fast. And hope there's a target in front of you. Or more. Or more than a target in front of you. It's an epic weapon. Of doom, doomish proportions. Uh, oh, they're being raided. Does that must mean you're at war with somebody who's raiding you. We got a attribute and a focus point. Uh, I think we'll put our attribute into intellect and our focus in our next priority, which is right here. Uh, no. Uh, reset them both. We're going to vigor, and we'll do two hander. As I gotta. Are these guys still... They're still there. The rebels are still being rebels. Weird. Um, where are you headed to, man? Are you... You're not one of the ones I could talk with, right? You're just gonna go rock this guy. Um. So, who is... Who are the Asari at war with? Just the Southern Empire. Well... Bye bye. Uh, you might want to leave the looting to. Never mind. <laughs> You're dead. Oh. I could definitely fight you now. Let's do it. Let's fight this guy. Hi. Hi. Uh, here to deliver my demands. This is your chance. Surrender or die. Nope, I did it wrong. Oh. Uh, here to deliver my demands. One chance to surrender or die. Oh, really? I can't declare war on you? What? That's sad. I wanted the chance to fight them. Traveling to Sibyl Zoom Castle to besiege. Alright. Wait, why can I not fight them? Oh, I'm not high enough, maybe? I guess not. All right. Well, let's pop in there and look for glaives. <laughs> that is why we traveled all this way. The search for glaives. Nothing. The uh, Usually uh, the Kazate are the ones to get the glaives. Or to get the glaives from, I should say. Master sword, yeah. Masterwork, but it's not what I want. Not at all. Go a little bit longer here until I can get myself a glaive. Probably at that point we'll we'll wrap her up a little bit longer tonight than than now. Oop. So that little bits of the fish, lots of the fish because it was real cheap. Why do I have steel? And pottery and hide. So much free loots. Uh, lots of olive sails, too. A decent amount of olive sails. Something like that. Wonderful. 
So getting them trade points. 12 highborns ready to train. Um, we can bring on the cataphract and the elite cataphract. The rest can go to here. Um, yeah, you're skilled, but not epic. Um, tournament uh, here. Oh, goodness, I don't want to do another tournament. Not right now. Maybe next round. We'll come down towards a uh, proper um, proper Kuzate territory. Hey, there's the bonus for uh, trading, or the, the skill thing, where we gain relations by just entering the villages. We do have uh, our full contingent at 103. I think it's once a day that we're able to get that uh, event. I don't remember if there's a specific Kazate town that sometimes has those weapons, or if it's all the time, or if they're even still in the game, to be honest. There's the glaive right there. 23,000 for that glaive. Well, they definitely upped the price. <laughs> I don't have half. I maybe got half that. Used to be a different uh, price, for sure. Let's see if there's a cheaper one. See if it's any better than the axe, actually. At $23,000, at least we know where it is. Hey, Alda. Alda has some training to do. Lance? Lance? I don't want a Lance. I have Lance. Lance has, Lance has served me well. He's a nice guy, that Lance. Alright. No, huh? Well, that's disappointing because the price of that thing is through the roof. Hmm. Stuart skill 136. Alright, we'll look at these two towns, um, two or three towns. If we don't find a decent price glaive, then we'll probably end her there. I um, think I'm done for the night, but it was a lot of fun. I just want to find a glaive. Not too much to ask, is it? Apparently for these people, it is. Yeah, not doing another tournament right now. Macab, uh, Ortengard. Well, let's go to Ortengard. Then, um, uh, Macab and Balticand. We're like the opposite side of the map from the supposed people that we're paying, we're getting paid to, like, we still get influence, right? As long as we're in a, as long as we're signed a contract, we get, uh, we get the influence, and it helps us pay for our bills, even if we're not doing what the uh, person that's paying us wants done. It's a lovely scenario. Also, it would be lovely if I got a uh, glaive to buy. So, uh, Alda, you are an engineer. 